hello again everybody peace of Christ to all of you and this is a Christian Prince with you again I hope we will have a good time together and my Skype is open only for Muslims to call me please if you are a Christian don't call me I will hang up on you I will hang up on you I want Muslims to call me um, you see the topic and this is my topic is uh, if Muhammad is a prophet or not if Muhammad is a prophet then Islam must be from God and there is one thing actually making me consider Islam which is women me a brother in Islam the second you convert to Islam Allah will flood you with women like did you watch a movie cartoon like uh, when the guy who opened the box and like like a, a thousand of rabbits came out that's exactly what will happen to you when you are a Muslim brother you enter the heaven brother and right away brother there's 80,000 women brother waiting for you I wonder sometime I mean why Allah is being so cheap I mean 80,000 make them 100 I mean what you will lose 2,000 more 20,000 more will not make a difference for you you are Allah only only 80,000 women what a guy like me he would do with 80 this is not enough it's not even good for a snack I mean this is not fair it's very obvious that Allah is must be true God otherwise why he promised me a lot of women only true God can promise us a lot of women and there's women you can see through their skin and their bones now this is my challenge to the Muslims who they are listening who is the Muslim when I call me and give me any proof that Muhammad is a prophet of God because honestly 80,000 women is not a good number I mean this is not fair do you want me as an Arab to take some to take 80,000 the same as someone he is a Persian that's disgusting this is not even it's not even halal brother why Allah will give me I mean what he will lose why okay I mean it's not it's not logical it's not the practical and we Arab we can take more numbers the Prophet as an example he used to have sex with all his wives in less than 15 minutes brother and this is proven by scientifically um... hmm? Is that true? The prophet he used to do bing bong, bing bong with all his wives in less than 15 minutes. I mean, mm. let's see the hadith so the Muslim they will not say I'm making things up. Oh boy. Sahihul Bukhari. Sahihu al Bukhari. Anas ibn Malik said, The Prophet used to. Oh, guys, did you see the word there? Used to. It's not something he did only after he took Viagra. <laughs> it's every day. He's used to. Okay, it's something like it's very normal for him. I mean, come on. He's a prophet. And because he's a prophet, he has a special sexual power. So, brother, the prophet used to, used to visit his wives. You see, here, visit his wives. They mean having sex with them. Around, in around, during the day and the night, Man, this guy, he's like a rabbit. He don't stop. Prophet can't stop, can't stop, can't stop. Can't stop. Prophet is keep going. Allahu Akbar, the prophet, he cannot stop. And now the prophet, and they were 11 in number. This is when they are 11, not 13. I asked Anas. Like the guy, he was like, what? 
Really? He said, had the prophet the strength for it? Anna said, we used to say that the prophet was given the string of 30 men. <laughs> oh boy. Be honest with yourself. When you go to buy a car, don't you ask them what is the power of the engine? How many horse? Here we go. The prophet, he have the power of 30 horses. Hmm? And then... Show respect, show respect, please. Show respect, show respect. And then we find the hadith where Muhammad he said, Let me find the hadith for you first. That he was the most weak person between all mankind. Weak in what? Uh, weak in sex. Weak in sex. And then he invoked his God, Allah, and he sent him a dish of shish kebab. Let me get you the, the the reference so people will not say I'm making things up. And you know, you know them. You show them the reference in the front of your eyes, you put them in the screen, you read for them the number, you show them the page, Islamic page, and still they say to you, with liar, <laughs> liar. <laughs> I love it. Oh boy. Let's see. Reference. Okay, I'll go fight. Hmm. Fight is the same as you say uh, shish kebab, you know. Like this, but it's not shish. It's a it's a kufta. It's like she. It's it's, uh, it's kebab, uh, but it's not shish. This is what is missing. Usually, it is something made in a tray. All right, <clears throat> let us read together what it says. And I change any Muslim to say to me, you are lying. Here we go, let us show the reference. I will put it in the screen. The book of Lisan al-Arab li Ibn Manzoor. The Prophet. The Prophet said, the Prophet said, oh, we went to a different place, hold on. He said, Atani Jibreel biqadrin yuqalu laha al-kufayt fawajattu quwata arba'ina rajulan fi jima'a. Translation, Jibreel, he brought to me a dish which means a recipe or a kind of food. It's called al kufait which means kebab. And by eating it, I get the power of 40 men. <laughs> Insects. <laughs> Do we have any Muslim have an objection? Any Muslim have an objection? Question, why the Prophet, Allah, he sent him a dish of shish kebab to fix his problem in sexuality? Because according to the story, this is not all the story, by the way. According to the story, if we go... Uh, let us see here. Muhammad, he claimed that he was the most weak person. And by the way, it says here, Sahih. Sahih, this hadith is Sahih. All right. The Prophet was given Al Kufayt to help him in his sexual urge because he cannot have sex. 
any Muslim here he have any comment or he want to say to us what's going on why the Prophet he was sent a dish of shish kebab by Allah delivered by Jibreel to fix his sexual weakness anyone any Muslim this is the book of an Nihaya fi gharib al hadith wal athar saying the same story we can show you tons of stories and Muhammad he said I was the most weak person in sexual activities in sex and then I invoke my God and he sent to me al kufayt do we have any Muslim would like to give us a call why Muhammad his God he sent him a dish of shish kebab to fix his sexual problem anyone actually in different hadith it says that even his daughter she ate from it and obviously she got the power of 40 men too in sex who was a Muslim would like to call me and give me any reason if you don't want to talk about this topic no problem but I want you to tell me how you can prove to me that Muhammad is a prophet of God how I me as a Christian I will uh, you know I will enjoy my day uh, believing in Allah uh, worshiping Allah if I see such a thing is it true the Quran says if Allah wants something to be he said to it be and is going to be so why he send him a dish of shish kebab to fix his penis any Muslim can tell us Isn't it the Quran says kun fayakun? Be and it's going to be. Here we go. In chapter 2, verse number 117, the Quran says, if Allah wants something to happen, he say, be and it's going to be. Hey, by the way, Muslims, can you show me one thing Allah created by saying be? Because your God Allah, He reported all His creation, none of them done by be. Example Adam Allah he fashioned and the funny Muhammad he said in different verse that the similarity between Jesus and Adam that Adam is created from dust and if Allah wants something to be he say be so Adam he was created by be hmm. Adam wasn't created by be the Quran says that Allah he fashioned him he mixed the mud he mixed the dust with the water to make mud then he fashioned the mud then he breathed into the mud then it took time for Adam to be alive after breathing into him so where is B and it was who is a Muslim would like to call us Why God he sent only human being to rely on them to defend the message my friend what do you want God to send you a cow <laughs> what do you want I mean <laughs> same time we as a Christians we believe that God he came to us himself and that was the Messiah so it doesn't matter what God sent to you, still you are you, you will make excuse, right? Okay. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Our Skype is open. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Maybe, maybe. Who is a Muslim wanna call us and tell us one reason to believe in Muhammad to be a prophet of God? Is that because he have a child wife? Is that because he taught you to lie? Is that because he taught you bad manner? Is that because he told you to steal? Is that because he told you that you can even cheat and he did a cheat? Is that because he was the best example? He went to his own son wife and he flirted with her and later he slept with her 
what is the reason for us to believe in Muhammad to be a prophet of God? Any Muslim? <laughs> I'm not going to stay today for long so Muslims if you want to call me call me now I will be here maybe for more maybe 30 minutes more because really my eyes hurt I was I was studying the Jannah of Allah very much and a lot of beautiful women there and they are totally 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 naked <laughs> any Muslim You see, if we go and check the heaven of Islam, should we? I mean, we can go, but I wish a Muslim will call us to speak about it, or we can talk about anything else, you know? I mean, just to prove to us how Muhammad is a prophet of God. Choose your topic. I cannot find anything like, you see, there is, uh, uh, once, once I was in Asia, and I was like in a poor restaurant, you know? Because I don't want to spend money, you know, trying to be cheap. But the fact, no, I mean, I, I don't really, I'm not being cheap, but I don't really like to spend money, you know. My budget is very limited, and I don't care for fancy stuff. So I said to myself, there is a restaurant, sound like it's not going to be expensive, and food is food. So I went inside, and then the food was a clean. There's nothing wrong with the with the food, so the food no problem with it. I check the dishes before I start eating. I check the fork. I check the the spoon. This is how you know if the restaurant is. I check around me the table, etc. But then the brother, something unique happened. It's kind of a miracle. A fly stopped or st st stood in the side of the soup. And the fly fell down in the soup. And when this happened right away, I remember. I remember an amazing thing. The prophet, he said. The prophet, he advised us a very scientific advice. That if a fly fell down in your soup, dip it, dip it, dip it, and drink it. <laughs> mm. Mm. And guys, you don't know how, how yummy it was. I have to be honest here. I noticed that this is, was very, very yummy advice. I mean, it is beyond your imagination. Uh, <clears throat> Muslim, they might say to me, where you get this from? This is Sahih al-Bukhari, brother. Hadith number 3320. Ah, I forgot we Arab. We should read from the right to the left. So it's going to be based in the Arabic language. Zero two three three. How the prophet knew this? That in the right wing. Oh, he did not say which wing. He said one wing it has an illness and the other wing has a disease. Brother, this is only a story. Must be coming from a genius. What happened, Muhammad is a very cheap man, and he is very savage. The, the fly fall down in his soup, and this guy is still eating. And the people are looking at him like, what are you doing? What the heck are you doing? Hello? Hello? Luke 1927. Luke 1927. Show me, show me, explain me. <laughs> Luke 1927. Okay, my friend. I will show you Luke 1927. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm driving the Muslims Abdul crazy.
show me 1927. Show me Luke 1927. Show me Luke 1927. <laughs> oh boy. Abdul. You just quote for us a verse prove that Jesus is God, you idiot. You Muslims, you say, where Jesus says I am God, worship me. The verse you are quoting for me is about Jesus being God. He will come in the judgment day and he will judge. And he will say, bring my enemies before me. He will say that to who? Let me read for you the verse before it, and you will be surprised. I forgot you are Abdul. You did not even read the verse. You just, you just get a verse, and you are like, okay, let us make fun of the Muslim Christians. They say that Jesus teaches love. My friend, in the judgment day, there is only, only punishments for the bad ones. The love is over. Because he gave you love, you return evil. If we go to Luke 19, and I'm very th thankful for you, Abdul, for singing. Give me Luke 19, 27. Give me Luke 19, 27. Give me Luke 9. I think the guy, he go home and he's sleeping. And he's saying, give me Luke 19, 27. Give me Luke. Let us see what Luke 19 speak of. You will see here the Messiah speaking about him coming back. Amazingly, he is the Lord. So when you say to me, give me Luke, in the same time you don't want to believe in Jesus, ask yourself, Jesus coming in the judgment day under what authority? He says, bring them. To who? To the angels. Bring them here. Stupidity is amazing. Don't you Muslims believe in the judgment day that your God will burn people? Even the Quran says, you see, if that making you upset that Jesus in the judgment day he will slay his animal, his his, his uh, the animal, I sorry, the animal, the one, the enemies. Hello. Speak English. Do you speak English? Uh, I try, brother. Who is you with me? English. Brother, who is with Which me? Would not want me to reign over them. What? Kill them before me. Brother. Those who don't believe, kill them in front of me. Do you speak English? Brother, so so what the problem, brother? So okay, so what does it mean? It, it means that in the judgment so day, believe, in the believe. judgment day, hold on, let me explain to you. You asked me, right? In the judgment day, in the judgment day, Jesus will ask his angels to bring you and bring Muhammad and say, Those people they are going, we are slay them for me, which means slay them and burn them in hell forever. Why? Because you do not believe in him. What's your problem? Okay, so those who do not believe in Christianity should be killed. This is judgment day, my friend. Okay. Don't you believe in the same in Islam, Abdul? No. What if I show you that? Okay, show me. Okay. What well, the Quran says in, not, in Islam, not only in judgment day, you will be killed, even in, in, in today. Here we go. If we go in chapter 9, verse number 29, do you see my screen? Yes. All right. Uh, here we go. Thank you for, for calling my friend. No problem. I'm very bored. You know, I go to sleep soon. Ah, I to okay. I go to sleep. All right. Chapter 9, verse 29. Can you read it for me, please? You read. I am not good in English. You said to me, do you know English? Okay. Which chapter, sorry? Chapter 9, verse number 29. And the verse in the front of you on screen, if you can see the screen. It's in Arabic. I don't speak Arabic. I don't speak Arabic too. It's in English. Oh, sorry. Now I see it. Today. Hmm. Yeah, can you make it? Which one is the? Which one was it? Twenty nine. Twenty nine. Okay. Fight those who believe not in Allah, not the last day, mm -hmm. all that for which has been. You're moving the mouse. Sorry. Yeah, for which has been forbidden by Allah and His Messenger. Mm -hmm. Nor acknowledge the religion of truth, even mm -hmm. if they are mm -hmm. of the people of the book, until they pay the jizya with willing submission, mm -hmm. build themselves of duty. Yes. Mm -hmm. So. Yes. Does it, explain does, does it say that you will kill the Christians today, not in the judgment day? Exactly. Okay. So why you're upset from Judgment Day, but you're not upset from today killing people just because they don't believe? Because ours is true. Ah, because yours is a true, so you kill people. Yeah. Oh, okay, I see. And okay, as long as you are the one who said ours is true, can you prove it to me? Go ahead. 
I don't have time now. Maybe tomorrow. Well, why you don't have time? Maybe give me 15 minutes from your majesty oh, time, no. please. 15 no, minutes no. from your majesty time. Just 15 minutes, no, please, please. No, no, please. I'm. We are desperate, looking for a Muslim. He can give us any proof. Just to prove one proof before you go. Hit us, hit us. Give us a proof. No, because you, you will not believe. It. You will not believe it. You not what what what? You will not believe it. Oh, uh, just tell it to me first. How you know? Are you are you God? How you know if I will believe Bro, or not? There are so many videos out there. They tell you truth, but you don't believe. My it. friend, uh, give me, give me, uh, give me an answer. What is the proof that Muhammad is a prophet? Is God? Because is that because he said false prophecy? Is that because he said that you can cheat? Is that because he said you can lie? Is that because he said you can steal? Is that because even the Muslims they accuse him that he stole an underwear? Exactly, you're right. Oh, because they stole, he stole an underwear. This is make him a prophet. Yes, you're totally right. Sorry, man. That's wonderful, guys. The reason Muhammad is a prophet for this Abdul, because he's a prophet, was accused by the Muslims, not by the Jews totally. or the Christians, that he stole totally. an underwear. Totally. Totally. I'm I'm good, Abdul. Now. Okay, so why why your prophet he stole an underwear according to you? As long you had, you, you 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 like you acknowledge that. What Sometimes is the reason? We need underwear. Sometimes we don't have. We need to steal. Okay. So your prophet, he don't have one, so he stole an underwear. Okay, why now the Muslims don't go and steal another underwear? Instead of attacking the prophet and humiliating him, and then Allah, he have to send a verse from the sky, from heaven, with Jibreel. It's about, it says in the top of that, in the top of the of the delivery, it says, top secret, the underwear. Okay, can you prove to us, Bible is the reliable source? Don't change the topic. No, why why change? Why change? Why change? Why change? Bye 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 here we go you are the one who showed Point okay changing. okay Point okay changing. okay I will, I will prove to you the bible is the revival source okay you change the topic yes. no problem okay. Hmm. okay if you prove me i believe no problem i'm so so glad that you know how to read uh english not Thank like me much. okay all right read for me chapter 2 verse number 89 okay it's loading let's see Eighty-nine, huh? Verse number eighty-nine. And where, the, and when there come comes to them a book from Allah confirming what is with them, although from of old they had prayed for victory against these without faith. Okay. When there comes to them that which they should have recognized, they refuse to believe in it. But the curse of Allah is one of those without faith. That's wonderful. So, confirming what is with them. How you asking me to confirm mm. what is with us? But Allah confirm what is with us. No, you. I wanted to confirm the Bible is reliable source. My friend, the Quran confirmed confirming what is with us. The, the Quran. Don't you believe in the Quran now? I do. Okay. So why you don't accept what the Quran is saying? Chapter two, two, verse number ninety-one. There's you know there's there's many verses in the Quran saying saying that. Chapter two, verse one hundred one. Yeah, I mean, there is many verses as you see in the screen. So the Quran confirmed that Quran confirm what is with us to be truthful. Are you against that? No. So you've been refuted. Quran agree that we have what is confirmed to be the truth. Wow. Hmm. My eyes open now. I'm glad it's your not it's not your chest because according to the hadith, there is two angels and they open the chest of your prophet and they cut him all the way from his throat to his balls. Do you know the hadith? And then, and then they stuffed his balls. I mean, sorry, his throat, with dish of faith and knowledge. What it is from Bukhari. Uh, the hadith. Yeah, it's in a Bukhari. Yeah. yeah. What do you I, think I about? I don't think believe in it. You don't believe in Bukhari, right? Bukhari is full of lies. Yeah, because it contradicts the Quran. I think so. Where where is contradicting the Quran? Where it says where is the contradiction with the Quran? Yeah, because it's man-made scripture. Sorry, where is the contradiction? If the, where is the contradiction between the story of cutting his throat and stuffing it with wisdom, dish of wisdom and dish of faith, and the contradiction with the Quran? Which verse? Can we see it in the Quran that he stuffed all, all this stuff? No, but there's many things not in the Quran, but you must not believe in it. As an example, in the Quran it says you can do muta. Mm. Do you do muta? What is that? Muta is you hire a woman to have sex with you and you pay her. No, we don't do that. I don't think so. Well, this is in the do you, know do you know anyone who does that? They're the Muslims. Muhammad. Everyone. Muhammad. Muhammad. Where? It's in the Quran, so, chapter 4, verse 24. Show me. Yes, I will show you. Okay. Are we going to spend the day saying, Show me, show me? Okay, I will show you. Yes. All right. until, until I go to sleep. 
Ah, okay. Well, I will let you go to sleep, my friend. You are a kid. Let your dad call me. Where is the other Abdul who was calling me? His name is Islam Allah. Call me, my friend. Call me. <laughs> let me call you. We want someone more adult. <coughs> answer, answer, uh, my friend. You were calling me. Guys, we have why we have only 400 people. How many? 345 people. Look at guys, you don't miss me. Uh, because I'm doing everyday broadcast. You guys, you don't miss me, right? This is why I have <coughs> 350 now. Okay, I will take a few days off. So you guys miss me. Do you miss me? Do you? Do you? Do you love me? Do you? This song is for the Muslims, not for your Christians. Do you miss me? Do you? Do you? Do you love me? Do you? Do you? Do you hate me? Do you hate me? Do you hate me? Do you do? Yes, we do. We hate you very much. We wish we can find you. Who are you? Please tell us the address. Yes, we do. The brother sister, the other person, his name is the Christian prince. And he's so coward, he don't dare to take his face in the internet, brother. Ask yourself if this person is telling the truth. Why he don't show his face? Brother, I want to show my face, but I don't have a beard like yours. And this is making me feel embraced to be showing my face. Brother, it's not easy to be like you. You are so handsome, oh, oh you. Zakir Naik, brother, you can beat all of us, oh, you. Do you love me? Do you? Do you? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Mean man. Okay. Guys, don't, don't block the Somali boy. Come on. Put yourself in his shoes. Don't why are blocking the Muslims? Admins, really, I'm, I'm serious. Don't block them. Anyone don't use an aggressive language, don't block him. Even if you say Christian Prince, you are stupid. Don't ever block someone who say anything like that. As long as you don't go out of the line, don't block him. Please. Otherwise, I have to remove you from the moderation. It's not enough that he is a Muslim. In the top of that, you block him. I mean, already he's blocked. Hello. Hi, SP. Um, can you hear me? Yes, my friend. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. Um, yes, I wanted to share something with you if you give me uh, a few minutes. Um, I, I have to say from the beginning, I'm a Christian. It's just that I wanted to share a, a verse with you that I think that I don't think that you need help. But um, when, when uh, Muslims talk about Paul, I think you should mention a certain verse so that shows why they cannot understand paul okay go ahead um maybe i'll show on the screen it's second peter 3 verse um, 15 to 16. okay so and that then that's the reason why they cannot understand uh, why, why what paul is saying because i, I was asking myself why always the people are attacking Paul so and um, when I read this verse I understood why all right well um, you want to read it from 13 to 4 15 you said uh, 15 to 16 15 16 15, and this no, is yeah. uh, second Peter 3 right yes all right so I can read if you want, or otherwise. Yeah, you can read. Go ahead. I will put it on the screen. No problem. Okay. It says, "Bear in mind that our Lord's patience means salvation, just as our dear brother Paul also wrote you with the wisdom that God gave him." And sixteen says, he writes the same way in all his letters, speaking in the in what, in them uh, my of friend, these matters. Hold, hold on. You are reading Second uh, Peter three, from starting from where? Uh, fifteen. From fifteen. Okay. Yes. And 16. Are you sure from the number? Second Peter. 
Yeah, second Peter three. Okay. Let me check. Okay, There's go ahead. Peter go ahead. Talking about okay, Paul. go ahead. Read. And in sixteen says he writes the same way in all his letters, speaking in them of these matters. His letters contain some things that are hard to understand. Now it get, uh, you will get why Muslims do not understand him. His letters contain some things that are hard to understand, which ignorant and unstable people distort. They distort his words as they do to the other scriptures to their own uh, destruction. So is it clear in these two verses why they cannot understand Paul? So next time when you talk to a to a Muslim and he talks about Paul, maybe you mentioned this from the beginning. Why he cannot understand Paul? Because they are ignorant and distort the word not only from Paul but also from other scriptures, like it said, to their own uh, destruction. So, my friend, what, my friend, don't, don't waste do. your time. Don't waste your time. I read for them any of those scriptures because, in order to make somebody listen to you, before to make somebody understand you, you have to make him listen, right? Yes, of course. And this is the problem with the Christians. They do not know how to make Muslims listen. Have you ever watched cartoon before? <laughs> yes. Okay. Did. did you see uh, the uncle of Tom when he hit uh, Jerry in his foot so he would get attention? Yes, yes. Okay. You need to hit the Muslim in his foot sometime, not physically for sure, in his bum, in his head to get his attention. And the only way to do it is not to read for him a verse from the Bible, is to make him see how stupid his book. So after you show him how stupid his book, then you can quote for him whatever you wish from the Bible. Don't waste your time. Otherwise, before that, you are just wasting your time. Yes, maybe you're right. Are you getting my point? Yes, of course. There's but no need. The end, there is no so. need to quote for them from the Bible anything about Paul because they believe in Paul or not. They believe in Jesus or not. That will not make any difference because anyway, they've been taught a lot of false information about us, which is preventing them from believing. So before you go there to quote from them from Paul, it will say to you, "Who is Paul?" I mean, why only even let us say Paul he said that so no it's Peter talking about Paul. I mean I say let us say uh, 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 let's say explain about Paul so yeah. uh, uh, if you if they give them Peter if you give them even Jesus saying they don't even believe that Jesus said that so you know, yeah, you, you, and they you, will ask anyway we have we have to be we, we have to know what is the problem before we try to solve the problem what Christians do they try to solve the problem before knowing what the problem. They think the problem is they don't understand Paul. It's not that. Or they don't understand the Bible. It's not that. It's about that being told false information about us. If Muhammad said, you know, did you ask yourself why the Muslims don't question that Mary, she was a virgin? <laughs> Just because Muhammad said so, correct? Yes, of if course. Muhammad, he they, said, they if, if, if Muhammad did not say that in the Quran, then all the Muslims will make fun of you. So yes. the, the problem is not the Muslims, they are not and un don't understand a verse in the Bible. It is them trying to fool themselves, following a false man who came 600 years after Jesus. If you watch a debate between Muhammad Hijab and his nurse, Ali Dawa, and David Wood, Muhammad Hijab, he said, you know, the book of John came uh, almost 90 years after uh, Jesus. He said that, okay. But Muhammad, he came 600 years after Jesus, he spoke of Jesus. How you believe the one who came after Jesus 600 years, but you don't believe in the one who came or who, who wrote a book 90 years after Jesus? Yes, but they will answer like, yes, but it's not Muhammad talking, it is Allah talking. Well, yes. what is the proof that Allah is, is, is even exist? <laughs> Allah is talking. Yes, but that's how they try to answer. All this. right, my friend, let us give a chance for the Abdul to call. Thank you for yes. calling me. Thank you. Yes, yes. thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> here we go we are here we have a we, our broadcast name is 10 reasons is Muhammad is the true prophet of God but Muslims could not give us one reason until now oh what we have in front of us something funny contradictions lies jokes comedy it's a total comedy if I go right now <clears throat> And I try to find something serious in the Quran. Who is the one who's talking in the Quran? The Muslim, they would say Allah. Okay, that's mean. That's mean. This must be serious. This is God, supposedly. Correct. The second we say God is talking, it must be serious. 
Is that serious? Chapter 55, verse, we can read a few verses before and for a few verses after, so the Muslim will not say we are making things up, you know? Is that serious? Brother? Who is a Muslim would like to call us and read for us those verses? Because they are, I find them truly, truly very interesting. Obviously, this God must be true God. I mean, this is this is a truly, truly a book of wisdom. Which translation Muslims you like me to read for you from? Yusuf Ali, Biktal. Well, we have Burger King. We have McDonald. We have Jollibee. I mean, which which one you want? All of them the same stupidity. This is God is talking. Huh? A brother in the heaven of Allah, there is from every fruit to kinds. <laughs> Every kind of a fruit in pears. What does that mean? Hello? Hello? So, in the heaven of Allah, brother, we will have two kinds of apple. <laughs> Oh boy, uh, this is too much. This is very serious, brother. Allah, brother, brother Tatar, brother, in the heaven of Allah, brother, Allah will give us from every fruit two kinds. Add an example, a green watermelon and a green watermelon, brother. And what make it more stupid, <clears throat> it says here, <clears throat> uh, I mean, this is really so beautiful. We have to admit. We have to admit. Every Muslim brother is a promise in the heaven of Allah, brother, to have two paradise. Two paradise, yes, brother, not one paradise. <laughs> <laughs> Question, brother. If they are one paradise or ten paradise, what is it different, brother? <laughs> Any Muslim can tell us? What is the point of saying I will give you 100 paradise? If paradise is paradise. Hello? Every Muslim brother, brother, will have two paradise? Hello? Dr. Zakir Naik, brother, where are you right now, brother? I am in paradise number one. Hey, brother, are you going to paradise number two later? Uh, brother, yes, because I have a delivery from Amazon, brother. I have to go there. Uh, Erin, I can read your text and I can listen in the same time. I'm a multitask person. Unless Allah made me blind as the Quran said. Brother, read the chat. CP, what is happening in the chat? Uh, let us see. What's happening in the chat? I don't see anything important. What? If anyone would like to call me, call me. Don't give me, you know, don't text in the chat and make yourself look like a hero. Hello? Here we go. My Amazon is open. Call me and explain to me. Allah will give you two paradise, brother. Uh, <clears throat> His name is Oshita, Oshiha H.I. Okay, my friend. 
why I want to call you you call me <clears throat> if you like to call me call me go ahead <coughs> DB Samsi my friend my friend your friend Shamsi he changed his name it is some she he claimed to be his lion, but he cannot find me. What one to one? Are we debating here 10 to 10? Hello? What a potato, Shamshi. Who is the Muslim he dared to call me? Don't tell me, call me. I will not call you. You call me. Any Abdul? You want to talk to me, my friend? Call me. So guys, give him my Skype so he can call. Okay, call me. Don't tell me I dare. I dare to call you. I dare. I dare to call you. I dare to call you. I dare. I dare to call you. Call me. I dare to call you. I dare. I dare to call you. Call me. I dare to call you. I are you going to step to keep doing this until tomorrow? As long you dare, I dare by the moon and the star. I do dare. I swear I am believable. The logic of Abdul. He dared to call me, but he don't want to call me. Now we continue. You have respect for me, my friend. Don't respect me. Call me as long as you are a Muslim. Call me, no problem. I don't care for respect. I'm not here seeking respect. The first respect you own is respect yourself, and then respect of people is not really important. What is going on? We will be in paradise with spreading branches. I mean, this is too much. Look like I have a paradise here. In the front of my window, we have a spreading branches already. Look like we are there. <laughs> hmm. And, and don't wanna, I don't want to forget to mention to you that the God of Islam, he is a rabbi. He's a Snoop Dogg. What's his name? Snoop Snoop Dogg or Snoop Dogg? I don't know. Look, he keep repeating the same sentence. Then in which of the blessing of your Lord you will deny? Then in which of no, 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 you will deny? When no, 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 you deny? Then the no, 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 deny? Then the no, 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 deny? I used to watch uh, Tom and Jerry before. What is that? This is God talking? This is God talking. He keeps saying the same sentence. Once after once after once. Anyone remember Tom and Jerry, guys? When the uncle, the uncle of uh, uh, the, the 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 mice came from Mexico and he was playing guitar, and then each time he cut he the 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 guitar lose a line, he steal from the cat mustache. What is that? This is God talking. He have nothing to say except repeating the same word, the same sentence, exactly word by word, all over. What the point? What the point? Any Abdul? <clears throat> Hello. Hello. Yes, my friend. Hi, Christian. This is. I'm not. I'm not a. Uh... Muslim, I'm a Christian. I just had a couple of questions to ask about okay. um, um, so Muhammad being racist to black people. Oh, Muhammad, he, he, you know, my friend oh, Muhammad, he likes black people very much. This is why he forbid them from entering heaven. <laughs> Not only that, Muhammad, he claimed that in order to enter yeah. heaven, there is, there is a video, by the way, guys, you can go and search it. There's a video made by the D show. And they have an imam from the uh, he has a, he have a phd from Azhar university uh, by the way when we say a phd people think this is a, somebody is educated phd is a piece of paper does not really mean too much unless you prove mm -hmm. your your knowledge so this guy in the video 
he explained to you what will happen in when you enter heaven before you enter heaven Allah will give you the angels will give you a drink there's two kind of water one water will make you clean from your guilt and will make you so white and the other water which means you will have diarrhea and you will be white and the second water will make you so tall like prophet Adam and you will have the face of a prophet Joseph and you will have the age of a prophet Jesus <laughs> so this is what Muhammad is about go ahead my friend we are listening <clears throat> hello hello yeah. yeah yeah go ahead what do you want to say to the Abduls um no I just want like you know um I've got a couple of friends, not friends, but people that are known. I'm, I'm from the UK. All right. And there's black people that are, of course, Muslims. And I always want to show them that Muhammad being racist towards their own race. Hmm. But they tend to ignore to what he's saying. I think it's in the Hadith. I forgot what it was. Him saying that if you open as a, uh, as a Satan or something, or a black man being Satan. Yeah, black, black man, uh, Satan is a black. The devil is a black, uh, you know. Muhammad he said, uh, "Bahim" in Arabic mean totally black. Anything is a black, uh, uh, you know, is is should be killed. Anything is a pure black, not black. You have to be pure black, you know, and that will make you African, right? If you are, because there's no way an African he will be half white, half a black, right? So, if you are a pure black, Muhammad he said, "Kill him." Wow. Any say stuff. would you would you direct me or tell me where say stuff so I can you know, okay we can know. find uh we can find uh some let us see yeah but changing my topic by the way ah I know but, I'm sorry I but, just want... but it's okay I I, I I pray to Allah for could forgive you. <laughs> All right. You see here, uh, the word Bahim. If you read with me here, the word Bahim. Yeah. And I will try to find you the other hadith where I speak to kill anything is just Bahim. Here is speaking about the dog, but you will see here says the prophet, <clears throat> the messenger. He said, if we're not the dogs, are we're part of a nation among the nation? Muhammad, you think they are a nation? Then I would order to kill them, or that all of them to be killed. <clears throat> so kill of them, the one which is all black, is what Bahim is. All right, all black. And in Arabic here, the word is mentioned is Bahim. So call al Bahim. You see it here in Arabic. So kill all the dogs. No. Uh, the black dog who is totally black is the one should be killed. And here it's a very clear, uh, you know, evident that Muhammad he consider uh, uh, anyone, anything, any animal, any creature being a pure black is the devil. You see, in different hadith, Muhammad he says, I asked the Messenger of Allah, S A W Mercedes Benz, what the all black dog he said, it is the devil. Do you see the screen? Yeah, I do you yeah, see? Yeah. All right. So the second you are all black, you are you are uh, 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 labeled as a devil just for being totally black. So Muslims, if they have a black horse, black horse, totally black, which means there's no other color in him, they will kill him. Black cat, they will kill her. Black dog, they will kill him. Black bird, they will kill him. Anything is totally black, is a target. To be killed for it is the devil now i challenge any muslim to tell me what is the logic of that unless you are being racist what is making that animal an enemy to islam the, the color correct mm -hmm. is not is not that, that this animal is doing anything bad it's just because he said kill the black dog not the one who bite you <laughs> that's crazy yeah, thank you, my friend, for calling. Let's see, maybe we can get some Abdul to call us. I appreciate your call. Yes, God bless. Okay, care. thank you. Take care. Bye. Do we have any Muslim want to call us? 
Hello. Why we have only 428 people, guys? I think you don't miss me because I did too much broadcast. So now you don't, you are not interested. Is that the case? Okay, I'm going to bring more Muslims to watch me, to join us in the conversation. Let me do it. Here we go. This is the solution. I have a solution in front of me. <laughs> you think I do not know what make Muslims believe and listen? Here we go. Man, oh man, one of the versions of the heaven of Allah. But the problem, she did not lose her color yet. Because Muhammad, he said she is so white to the point we can see her bones. Now you will see how many Muslims will join the conversation and they will be so, so, so all over. Here we go. We got you what you like. What do you want more? I am Allah, worship me. Hello? 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 I mean, God, in order to prove to us that he is God, he have to, pro to, to promise us women they are so white to the point we can see their bones and the marrow of their bones. God cannot be God if you don't do that. I mean, imagine God. <laughs> he will take me to heaven and there is no zigs. And not only no zigs, no a lot of women. Brother, that doesn't make sense, brother. Sometime I wonder if Muhammad was a student of the love guru. Hello? Hello? Look, the numbers of Muslims are increasing. Look, now we have one million viewer, two million viewer, five. We have seven million viewer. Brother, the number is going so crazy just because we put uh, uh, white women in the screen for the Abdul. Unbelievable. Do we have the Muslim? Anyway, I wasn't really planning to stay for long, you know. Uh, I want you guys to watch the videos I made previously. I made two videos already, correct? Don't forget, please, to watch them. And the, the purpose of our videos, I made, I'm, I'm making short videos because uh, it's easier to share, right? Uh, it's easier uh, to learn from it, and it's easier to use and download. So we will make like a snack videos during the day, but still we will keep, uh, uh, yes, my friend, you can call, no problem. Still you can, you know, we will do our live broadcast where we will, even the other ones are, are live anyway, but I'm saying the long ones, they will be separated from the short ones. I, I, I prefer, I like to do the short one because they will help you improve in a point somewhere, somehow, when you need it. Hello? Good evening, CB. Good evening. Long time no here. <laughs> Hope you're fine. Um, you know, long time no here. I mean, how truthful that is. Isn't you hearing me now in YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> I get you busted. I get you busted. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, I, I wanted to ask you a question because uh, I've yeah. been digging into doing what you do when I debate with the Muslims, right? All right. Trying to get them cornered, trying to bring them the, their own scriptures that they want to debate. Uh, what I need your advice about is, for instance, this morning I had a guy who said that I was lying when I said that he cannot have a Christian as a friend or a Jew. Hmm. Um, and he said, no, that's not true. Hmm. And I told him, uh, showed him where the Hadith was. Hmm. The Quran. Uh, and he said, that's not true. That's not true. You don't understand. You don't understand Islam. And I said, hmm. so basically you're denying what Muhammad teaches you. Hmm. Uh, he said, yes, okay, maybe I'm doing that. Then you're not a Muslim. Okay. And then he, he started wanting to talking about this. And I said, no, 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 no. You have to answer me. Are you denying what Muhammad teach? Okay. And then he was back again, jumping around all over the place like a firecracker. <laughs> and telling me that I don't know what it is. Hmm. And then he said, well, it's, it's because you do not understand basic Islam. Mm -hmm. uh, and I said, can you just... For one second, read what it is you said. You said you're denying 
what Muhammad said, that means you cannot be a Muslim. Have you any suggestion what to do within that situation? No, you know, when a, when a person, he go in denial, he decide not to say uh, the truth, what he can do about it? I mean, that's it. The guy, he decide he will not believe. Uh, uh, he will he will make excuses. That's it. Mm -hmm. I mean, he is playing games. It's, it's, but this is this is good thing because uh, obviously he is feeling ashamed of his book, and this mm -hmm. is why he reached the point of denial. Yesterday, I have a person who called me and he said the same. He don't believe that Allah is the one who made that mistake. Obviously, it's somebody else. When we showed him that Allah, he said that women they have sperm coming from their ribs. So mm. I did not continue talking to him because now he reached the point where he noticed that Islam is stupid. But he is in the point of denial because this is very normal. You know, imagine I'm showing you how stupid what you believe in. You are worshiping a God for all your life and suddenly you notice that he is crazy God. Mm -hmm. So what you will do, right away you switch the mood of defense and you go in denial. You say, you don't understand. But he cannot explain to you what you don't understand. He cannot tell you what's wrong. He cannot go engage in explanation of something uh, 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 you just gave him because simply he do not know what to say. So right away he switched to speak about Jesus, maybe Bible, mm -hmm. maybe Trinity, maybe right away. This is why the Muslims, when they call, you will notice a Muslim. I'm talking about tomato. He want to debate me about the Trinity. Mm -hmm. All of them they want to debate about Trinity because they think that this is the only topic Islam can stand for. But even that one does not make sense, and Muslims cannot prove it. Muhammad mm. was was not a person who worshipped one God, obviously. Even though the Quran says you worship Allah, but Muhammad he kisses stones. Muhammad he ordered Muslims to bow down in front of a stone. Muhammad in the satanic verses, which is approved by Muslim books, he asked the Muslim to intercede using the three daughters of Allah, Allah mm -hmm. and Manat. Muhammad, he have no problem to consider that touching stones is going to erase your sin. So a person who believes in God and God is the only one who can forgive sin, then how Muhammad say, if you touch black stone and the Yemeni corner will, will, will forgive your sin. So in order to be a person who is believing in oneness of God, you have to be consistent with that belief. And consistent mean that you cannot say, if I touch a stone or I kiss a stone, that will forgive my sin. You cannot say that touching a stone or kissing a stone is part of my act of worship because this is idol, you know, this is what idol mm -hmm. worshippers do. Yeah. So Muslims, they think that they have one God to worship. But the second we start to question the nature of this God, we find it's funny, very stupid. As an example, the Muslim, they refuse Jesus to be God because he's a man. But if you go and check the hadith and the description of Muhammad about Allah, even the Quran, the Quran says Allah have a shin. You will find that Allah is a physical being. He have no spirit and he is not a spirit. And he have two hands in the right side. He have a foot. He have a shin. He have a face. So who is Allah? They say we do not know. All what we know that Allah has have hands. Allah have five fingers. Allah have a foot. Allah have a shin. Allah is a physical being. But Allah is not like anything. But my friend, I am not like anything too. According to even science, every individual of us, nothing like him. Even snow. The snow when it, when it, when it starts snowing around you, according to science, every flicker of snow is not like the other one. Not even one of them is exactly the same. Imagine. So, is it, does that mean the snow is God? So, Muhammad he copied things from the Old Testament. Nothing like God. So, okay, now the Muslim you ask them how Allah have what? What do you mean Allah have a shin? What Allah? Why Allah have a foot? Okay, Allah have a foot to do what with it? To put it over the fire, <laughs> to put it over the fire, or to play uh, football, or European football. So, uh, uh, when you say to me that your God have a foot, you need to explain to me, and you need to. Tell, okay, Jesus came to us as a man because he was between the mankind. So he's, you know, he looked like them. He merged between them. He, they, they, you know, he talked to them as a man. He appeared to them as a man. But Allah have a shin to do what with it? He have a foot to do what? Why he have five fingers? What Allah will do with the hands? I mean, if, if Allah, he can say, he can do everything by saying B, why he need the hand? The hand is something to do an action, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, the, the hand in Islam is not a metaphorical thing. It is a physical thing. And because of that, then we have to admit that Allah is a, and the Muslims admit actually, nobody deny that Allah is a physical being, but all what they say, he is not like other physical being. And the second you say that Allah is a physical being, then Allah have to occupy a space, correct? Yeah. Because if I am uh, uh, 
uh, four meter tall. By the way, I'm not four meter. I'm five. I am five meter tall. Okay, <laughs> that means I occupy a space of five meters. So Allah is contained inside a space. But the Muslim, they say to us, Allah cannot be inside His creation. Mm -hmm. Even the hadith says that Muhammad he said that above Allah is air and underneath of Allah is air, which means He's inside the air. Yeah. So how you refuse Jesus to be? God just because you say how God can be inside his creation because the flesh of the man is a creation of God But yet Allah himself he is inside the creation and there's tons of approves for that mm. Yeah, so let them say and if they can prove us wrong they are welcome. Oh Well, I I just I just used the scripture to uh, do what Jesus told the disciples does the feed and leave them and then I came back like two hours later. He had been screaming and shouting on text for like two hours. <laughs> well, you know, uh, it's better. It's, it's better to get him busted always from his books, because yeah. that will make him more angry. Yeah, but but it's just like when you have them here shouting, then they don't want to listen to you. It was just like, what? <laughs> what are you doing? I told you I left. <laughs> yeah. And he kept shouting and screaming and wanted me to come back, and I had closed uh, closed the conversation like you do when you put on the the phone uh, but that was just my question so that means that the more <clears throat> angry I get them the more right I am so to well say. well the the always always the the reason for uh, somebody to get angry because you hurt something it hurt you know mm -hmm. the more you get them angry it's mean you are going in the right direction if they are relaxed mm -hmm. it's mean you are saying nothing mm -hmm. you know? okay yeah yeah, it's like working hey. working in the teeth of somebody. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Well, and I just want to tell the people out there who hasn't gotten gotten your books, go get them because I gained so much knowledge. Now I have all four. When are, when are your next book coming? <laughs> uh, actually, because of what I'm doing, I'm doing too much podcast. I did not do any work in my books for for some time now. I will. I better go back again and do more work in my books. I will. Oh, that's good. And actually, I have a book. Even I have a book is already translated and ready, but I have to uh, to uh, fix some Arabic text uh, to mm. the to the Indonesian language, uh, which is really good to have. And because I don't have time, I'm not working in that. And otherwise, the the brother who did, uh, translated the book, my 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 book, to this language, he finished it almost a month ago or more. Wow. Yeah, but because I have no time, as you see, you know, mm. as you see. <laughs> yeah, well, but you do you do your service a anytime, anywhere, so that's also yeah. okay. It's the same. It's the same. I mean, at the end of the day, it's about what we do. As long as we are not wasting our time, all is mm. good. God is good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you. That was all from uh, the Scandinavian part. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank. Thank you, my dear sister. Take care. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> Take, Take care. care. Take bye. care. Take care. All right. Um. The book on Paul. What the book on Paul? I'm not sure what do you mean. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Maybe, maybe. Any Muslim would like to call us? Okay, Salada. If you if you speak Croatian, text me in Skype so we can see how you can translate. Anyone can translate, you can text me and see what you can do. But remember, translation is not easy. You might volunteer now and later you say, oh, this is too much. If you cannot handle it, don't promise something you can do, you cannot do. You know what I mean? Because this is need a lot of patience. Like the, the brother who did the challenge, uh, he, he did the, the translation for the German book. He did a lot of work, a lot of patience. But he is a person who made a promise and he keeps his promise. Wonderful person. Same as the one who did the French, same as the one who did the, the, the Dutch language, um, you know, like uh, uh, Swedish. It's it need patient. It's not something easy. You can always get the, your uh, deception of Allah from Amazon, that uh, France or that Germany, you know. I think it's free shipping. Basha, I uh, I don't have, I don't know. 
you need the translators I wish I can have all my books actually there's there's a language I wish I can translate to which is the Chinese because we have more than a billion and almost five, 400 million Chinese you know that would be a very important book if there is any one of you speak Chinese that would be wonderful actually I tried I tried really to uh, to get somebody to translate Chinese but they ask for a lot of money and I'm, I'm not a rich person I'm very I don't want to say I'm poor I am not the Lord he provided me with my brain and my faith and that make me rich but I'm not a person who have money or making really good money so I have to be I have to be only with the, with the help of somebody do volunteer work as simple as that well if you are Chinese listen to my Chinese my friend and tell me how good is my Chinese Ching -pong, he -ho, he -ho. I was saying to you in the name of Allah the most mercy the most merciful I don't speak Chinese sorry if you know Chinese and you like to translate let me know text me in Skype and let us see what we can do all right will be wonderful do we have any Muslim <clears throat> any Abdul hello oh I was in China you know I did go to China you know that right I went to China I went to Philippines I went to Thailand I went to Korea I went uh, to Bulgaria I went to Romania I went to France I went to Germany I went uh, all of this is just uh, this year believe it unbelievable it's like discovery channel and actually I'm invited to go to India I just received a text actually in uh, uh, in Skype there's a church inviting me there and I was in Texas last week answer me why you are scared there's a Muslim saying to me why you are scared my friend I'm calling you you answer go ahead <coughs> Hello? 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 Yes, my friend. You tried to call me and you are saying to me, yeah, I, am, I am scared, Shamsi. right? Uh, Shamsi wants to debate you. Why are you scared? Samsi? Who is Samsi? Yeah. No, 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 no. Don't, don't be funny. Answer the question. My friend, I made a video challenging Samsi to name his day yeah. and to name his time to debate me. And the coward, he said he would not debate yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, not in the, it's in YouTube. Go and watch it. Not behind computer. Not behind computer. He wants. He wants face to face. Not like on, men, like lions. My, my, my friend, I debate always. Like lions. Hold on, hold. You, 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 he's a lion. Don't be a fool. Did you see Don't him? Did you see him running from Jacob? Jacob, he chased him in the in the corner in, in the Jacob. speaking corner. Do you know Jacob, Don't brother Jacob? He chased him and Shamsi. He he ran like a cat from place to place. And Jacob go after him. Hey Shamsi, where do you go, Shamsi? Shamsi, I want to talk to you, Shamsi. And here go. Abdul, don't Abdul, hide, Abdul, hide. Abdul, 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 Abdul. The one is hiding is Allah and you your prophet. Hide, hide, hide. It's, it's your prophet. It's your prophet is a coward. It's your prophet, the coward who ran away and he hide between the Jews in the city of Yisrael. Is that correct? No, no, no. He's a warrior. You're a, you're a woman. He's a warrior. Hide, Since when? The coward. When he was Why without I, men, he was a potato. Even a man, do you, me, do you want me to show you that a man, he asked him to sleep with his wife and Muhammad did not dare to say to him, shame on you? People, people want the... Do you believe it that Muhammad, a man, he said to him in his present, in front of his wife, I want to sleep with Aisha and Muhammad the coward, he hung up. Samsi. Brother, if your brother Samsi is sure from crushing me he will be so happy to call me because who care how you crush me isn't he a lion oh. wow your shamsi is not a lion he's a cow a cow without milk otherwise you Muslims, you ask hijab, you ask his nurse Dawa to debate me. The guy he said, Yes, I will finish him, brother. Let him come to me. <laughs> he knew that this is impossible. Why I want to go to all the way to anywhere to talk to a kids? Right? Let him come to me. What does that mean? 
same as Zakir Naik, the potato. We're challenging for debate. He asked me to bring 2,000 people with me, not only to come. Now, this guy, he had 2,000 people more. Yeah, they are kids. You see, if you if you watch the debate between uh, David Wood and this kid, Hijab, you will see how stupid Hijab was. He's just a kid. He started even singing. Do you believe it? This is official debate. We're not like having fun in the internet. Official debate on the stage. And he never answered any of the questions David Wood he gave him. You see, I, I, I don't agree with many things David Wood when he do debate, you see, but, but David Wood is doing his part. He did his part. Actually, he hit him with a very, very, very tough questions. How hijab he avoid the questions? He did not answer. Like as an example, when when David Wood he says, "You Muslims, when Muhammad he spit, poof, you go and you collect his spit and you wipe it over your face." How hijab he answered? He said, <laughs> "If everybody spit, if everybody spit, hold on, hold on, if everybody spit." Poof, poof, if everybody spit, that's making God. Here we go. I'm spitting. What is the answer? This is the most silly, comedy, stupid answer. The guy he just accused you that you are collecting the spit of your prophet and wiping it over your face, and he have the reference, he have the proof. And you say to him, "If he's spitting, making God, making me God, I will spit." Stupid. This is not even a child. It's not like even nine years old talking. Answer him. Why you are collecting the spit of your prophet and wiping it over your face? If he is not your God, if he is just a man, if he is just a prophet. You know what I mean? David Wood, he asked him many questions. None of them is answered. It's very childless. He's a kid. And this is why I say people like those, people like those, they need someone like me. Why? Because I am the best to teach kids how to behave. David Wood was kind, treating them with respect, being a professional, and controlling himself not to go down to their level. But my friend, when you speak to a savage one, you cannot stay. I mean, there's you cannot win a war with, with a savage if you don't go savage too. As simple as that. This is truth. You cannot, it's impossible. Because you have to go down. Imagine you wanna you are going to fight with the pig, and you don't want to go in the mud. And the, and, the, and the pig in the mud saying, come to me if you are a man. Come to me if you are a man. Right? And this is what uh, this guy he was doing in the, the, what it's called debate. He said, show me. Silence me. Show me. And he moved his finger like, show me. Like, like a bunch of kids. Silence me. Can you show me? Can you? Can you? <laughs> Silence me. Hello? Yeah, hello, uh, Christian Prince. Hey, this my friend. Boss. Hey, I boss, you on Monday, and ever since I'm being blocked. Uh, my friend, if you are blocked, you will not be able to call me. What did I do wrong? I mean, can't you take criticism? My friend, if you are blocked, you will not be able to call me. So don't lie. No, no, I no, no. This is my daughter's account I'm using. Ah, okay. Like maybe maybe you said something wrong. I don't not, I don't remember you. Maybe you said, "Are you the one who said the F word the, the, the days ago?" Oh no, no, no. I would never say that. I okay, go ahead. What do you want to say? I would say that to you. You are a hypocrite, and I, you are. A, I'm going to expose you as a liar. So I, was, right. I was blocked. Okay. I thought you have a thicker skin than that. My friend, my friend, my friend. Let us go to you. business. Let us go to business. Expose me. Go ahead. Well, I, as you were saying, I just saw I come down to your level now. Okay. To debate with you, and uh, just for the better, um, for the betterment of some people. Mm -hmm. And I am a layman. I told you before, but uh, as I said uh, last time, I want to expose your lies if you allow me. Is that all right with you? Go ahead. I'm listening. Okay. Now, um, I heard you talking to somebody mm. um, a few weeks back. Mm -hmm. And there was a Muslim a guy who became converted to Christianity, mm -hmm. and uh, I feel very sorry for him. Okay. Um, and you actually um, uh, tricked him with the hadith, weak hadith, 
okay. then you made a lie on that hadith. So I want to know if I'm wrong, correct me. Hmm. That hadith is regarding 72 companions you're going to have when you're going to paradise. Hmm. And you're going to have eternal, um, um, you know, uh, what do you call it? Uh, you know, you know, your private part will be uh, never go down. All right. It will, never, it will never go limp. Yeah. That's right. That's, you know, that that's a weak hadith in Ibn, Ibn Majah. You know that. Okay. Do you know that weak yes. hadith is accepted? Yes or no? Uh, not always. No. If weak is backed by uh, authentic, yes. Weak hmm. by itself is, you can. How it can use... be weak uh, and it's backed by authentic? Because if it's backed by authentic, then we have the authentic. We do not need the weak. No, but that's why weak is there. So hmm. if there's authentic there, so you can back it up and you can just leave it there. But okay, my friend, weak. my friend, my friend, my friend. If this mm -hmm. hadith, are you saying this hadith is totally rejected? Uh, I wasn't saying that. Let me finish what I'm going to say, please. Hmm. Uh, let's say for the sake of argument, hmm. this hadith is authentic. Hmm. Yes, but the problem is not there. Problem is further that you lied. And what you said to that guy, uh, you said, uh, you know, seventy women will come from hell. And two from the hoodies. Mm. He said yes. Mm. You said, do you know what kind of a women go to hell? Mm. And he said, very bad women. Mm. And then he said, no, prostitutes mm. are in hell. Mm. So seventy prostitutes will come mm. in a paradise. So okay. you can have a lot of sex because they are expert on that. All right. Now my question to you is: You're supposed to be a learned man, mm. not ignorant. Mm. Are every woman, according to Islam, who are in hell, are they prostitutes? But your Quran, your verse, sorry, here, the Hadith, described that they are special women. Do you see that or no? Uh, special in what? They have nice breasts and nice vagina. Mm, that Hadith say, saying that? It says that in front of you. Whom okay. will have so, desirable front passages? Uh, so uh, good women do not have desirable uh, breasts. Okay, thank you very much. So no, why are you... Hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What kind of a qualification those women they have to go out of heaven? What do you mean, go out? Did your no, prophet no. mention that those are women who they are good? Obviously, they are in hell. They are in hell for what they, reason? They are in hell for what reason? No, you say go out of heaven. What do you My mean? My friend, they were, they were uh, go out, go out of hell to heaven. What is the uh, qualification made them go out of hell to go to heaven? Uh, what are the qualification? Let's let's teach us then. What was the qualification? They were in hell. Well, here we go. Here we go. You see. The same qualification, obviously, the one who take them to hell is the same qualification taking them from heaven, from from uh, from hell. Because if you're a prophet, described that those women, nothing about them is good, except they have a nice breast and nice vagina, then that is mean. This is what oh. they have in earth, and this is what they were using. Otherwise, explain to me. It could prove me wrong. Prove me wrong are that you, those women, you, those women are, are good you, women. Prove to me that no, they are no, good no. women. No, no, no. Listen, uh, CP, you can't play these games with me. You know what? Mm. I am a layman, but I'm from Speaker's Corner as well. A, a real layman. Mm. And you asking for these guys, Shamsi and Hijab, mm. who can really, really can crush you in minutes. Mm. But if, you, if you're controlling it, of course they can't, like you're controlling everybody. And, and this is a silly argument. You cannot do that to me. You know, I, I want to read that hadith, yeah? Read you're putting <laughs> your words into hadith, and that's exactly what you do all the time. You put a little bit of your words to twist things. We are talking about the women of hell. When this hadith say they're going to come why they are in hell why are they are in hell okay tell me one thing i'm uh, listen i'm not attacking you or an idea let's say there's a very decent christian woman very decent christian woman go to church to do a very good thing or very good hindu woman mm. if that woman is a very good hindu woman very a very pious hindu mm. woman according to islam she's going to go hell you agree no no a good pious Hindu woman, according to Islam, is not going to go hell. Prove, give me a proof. Prove, uh, show me a proof. Well, you know, you mentioned the Christian too, because the Christian, according yes, to Christian your prophet, and Hindu, I say your, Hindu as well. your prophet, your prophet, he lied once. He said that the Christians and the Jews and the Sabian, who they are the same as other religion, worship stars, they will go to heaven. Okay, what that means? That means there's many people will go to heaven. Uh, so they, you know there were Christians and Jews and Sabians they lived before Muhammad Sallallahu but he was not talking about people who lived before he was talking about those who believe in Allah and the last messengers and etc and the Jews and the Christians and the Sabian he was speaking in the moment uh, right? I I don't, I don't I don't think he was talking about the present as he's talking about the people of uh, Jews Christians Sabians. my friend he was talking to people who they are when you say he didn't say the, the Jews who pass away. He didn't say the Christian okay. who pass away. Huh? Okay. He said okay. the Jews, the Jews, when I say the Christian, the Hindus, the Buddhas, 
They're atheist. They will go to heaven and they have no worry. It's mean I'm talking about people who they are will be in the moment. Look, you you have all the details with you. Can you can you provide that? What is the number of the hadith? Let's let's have a read because you know what? What I learned from you only in two weeks. I learned from you, Uterus words. What you hadith you are talking about? What hadith? What you, what whatever you saying that these people are going to go say? Oh, sorry, Quranic verse. Where the Quranic verse? Sorry, yeah, okay. then, What Quranic verse is that? Let's read it. And okay. anyway. That is beside the point. I will deal with this point. Seriously, Wallahi, I will deal with this point. Wallahi, I like it, Wallahi. Go ahead. Well, okay. You don't want me to say Wallahi? Okay. I, 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 it's funny it's because, you are it's using, it's because you are using the name of your God in vain. Wallahi. Uh, I apologize. See, there we go. I apologize. Okay, thanks for correcting Chapter 2, verse number 62. Chapter 2, verse number 62. But I say we will deal with it. But first I deal with, let's say, the Hindu pious woman. Are they going to go hell according to Islam or not? They will go to hell? According to Islam, the good, pious Hindu woman is going to go hell, or yes or no? Nothing mentioned in the Quran that they will go to, to, uh, to so hell. So use, use your imagination then. Well, if she yeah, is, maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe if she have a nice vagina, she will go to heaven, as you see. <laughs> prove me wrong, uh, just... prove me wrong. How, why, your God never mentioned the Hindus. <laughs> Did your God Allah mention? Did your God Allah mention the Hindus or the Buddhas? Guys, okay, I'm gonna speak on your behalf. Guys, you guys know that he's busted. That's why you couldn't answer that. <laughs> anyway, anyway, anyway. You answer it. Prove good. it to me. Here we go. Get me busted. Where in the Quran your God Allah spoke against the Hindus and the Buddhas? Something that's so obvious that. Uh, what do you mean so obvious? Why, why Muhammad? Why Muhammad? He think the whole world is Jews and Christians. Okay. Why Muhammad he think why Muhammad he think all the world is Jews and Christians or they are the same as Quraysh? Quran doesn't even mention the Scientology people where they're gonna go. So why he did not Quran mention why mention, he did not mention, mention, mention because you're probably my friend, the Quran do not even know what the Christian believe. The Quran believed that the Trinity is the is Mary and Jesus and Allah. Okay. Are the Hindus are polytheists or not? My friend, is that true? That that the Christians believe. That Mary and Allah and Jesus is the Trinity. Uh, where did the Quran says that that's the Trinity? Where the Quran says, yeah, this is the Trinity. I know what verse you're using. I think you, you <laughs> say uh, chapter five, verse one seventy one. Okay, yeah? uh, my friend, my friend. Yes. Uh, show me the verse in the Quran speaking about the Trinity the correct way. Uh, Quran uh, mentioning Trinity the correct way. Why Quran hmm. has to mention it? Because the Quran is mentioned the Trinity already. Uh, where is it? The word Trinity mentioned. Yes, uh, Salasa. But uh -huh. where, where the Quran says that Mary, Jesus, and God is a Trinity. So are you where saying to me that the Quran yes. never say that? Quran never defines Trinity uh, as you are saying it. Uh, Mary, Jesus, and uh, God is a Trinity. Quran never say that. Read the verse. Okay. I'm here. Bust me. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. Read the verse. Well, call uh, Allah, Ya Isa. ابن مريم أنت قلت للناس الناس اتخذوني وأمي إلهين من دون الله. Chapter five verse one sixteen. One chapter five verse one sixteen. One second. Mm -hmm. Sorry, um, I thought it was chapter four. Uh, one sixteen. Let's read it. Mm -hmm. uh, so you read in Arabic. Okay, for the benefit of people, can I read in English? Sure. <clears throat> and imagine when thereafter Allah will say, "Jesus, son of Mary, peace be upon them." Did you say to people, take me and my mother for God beside Allah? Where does it say Trinity? Okay, let us see, guys. He did not see it yet. It says, no, I did. It says, okay, let's say, okay. It says, take me, me, Jesus, this is one. Yeah. And then take Mary, yeah. this is second. And then beside Allah, this is the third. Yeah. <laughs> so there's three. <laughs> no, hang on a minute. Every, when, when, God, when God says, some people are three, believing in three gods or four, four gods. My this friend, my friend, this you said to me, God you said to me, where in the Quran it says, and get me busted, right? You are the one who said that to me. It says yeah, in the front yeah, of you, it says in the front of you that he is saying to Jesus, did you say to worship me and my mother beside me? Which means we have a three to worship now. So Allah, yes. Allah is a question what here is a question the Trinity and you got busted, my friend. Uh, so well, in your in your view, but you think your this is your implication. Well, you, like ex to, explain like, to me, explain to me. I, beside me, so beside who they are worshiping two? They are worshiping two. Beside Allah, who is the two? Mary and Jesus. <laughs> Give me a chance. Okay. Okay. Uh, so you are denying that there are people ever never uh, worship Mary. My friend, I never heard of any. But even if there is, 
your God is speaking about the Christians all of them they worship Mary and your God never mentioned uh, any other Trinity except this uh, one no, 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 no. no first of all you didn't you didn't say it's all of the Christians no it says it says it says no it says it says it says it says let me get you busted again you see here we are here to get the Abdul busted I'm I'm, I'm very happy that you are a speaker corner because look like uh, all of you are no, the same. Yeah, I'm listen, 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 listen. Yeah, okay. I'm Let us see. Mm -hmm. All the Christians, when when you when your God he speak about the Christian, what he called them? Uh, uh, Nasara. Nasara. What the Nasara believe? Uh, you trying to put me in your box? I'm asking you what the what 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 the Nasara believe according to the Quran. Nasaras, Nasaras have many different beliefs. They're not one single. No, my belief. so th that's mean there's a mistake in the Quran because the, the Quran says the Nasara believe. The Nasara believe when when every there's many group of Nasara. Then you cannot call them Nasara. Then we should call them maybe Jehovah's Witnesses. Maybe we should call them Mormon. As long as long you call Catholic, them Nasara, my friend, my friend, all uh, all of those, all of those. You see, this is your problem in your, in your religion. If your God, he know he's aware of what's happening. He should not call all why by one name because they are not Nasara anymore. Because if somebody is Jehovah's Witnesses, he's not Nasara. If somebody is a Mormon, is not Nasara. If somebody, according to you, is a Catholic, is not Nasara. If someone is a Protestant, is not Nasara. So where is the Nasara? Uh, Catholics are Nasara. Yes, yeah. I'm asking you, where is the Nasara? Who are the Nasara? I'm asking you now. I'm asking you, my friend. Who is the Nasara? Who is the Nasara? Who is the Nasara? I'm telling you. Are you Christian? Yes, are Catholics Christian? I am none of those denomination. No, no, but are Catholics Christian? Yes. So are uh, Jehovah Witness Christian? No. But they say they are. No. But they say they are. No, Jehovah's Witnesses I, believe the same as Islam. They are. They believe in there is many gods like you. So they are pagans. I, I, used to, I used to talk to Jehovah's Witnesses. My friend, my friend. No, no, don't lie, don't lie. Jehovah's Witnesses are false cult like your prophet. Now answer no, me. Not, Where, who is the Nasara true. according to your prophet? The Nasara according to your prophet is one exist religion. All of them are the same and Yahud. So he called the religion two names: Yahud and Nasara. If if there the, if there is one more, then name it. Obviously, those are not Nasara. Either the Nasara is the is the Nasara is us who believe in Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, or Nasara is the one who believe in Mary, and Jesus and Allah. You have to admit. No, 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 it's not saying that. So where, where is the ones, what is the name, uh, why your God is not naming those who believe in Mary, as you said, you said there is a certain sect, and you are the one who said Nasara is the Catholic, okay, no problem, Nasara is the Protestant, no problem, Orthodox are Nasara, no problem, okay, who are they, the sect, which is believe in Mary, and Jesus, and Allah as God? CP, I don't, even, I don't know you too well, so I don't want to make judgment. Are you a just man? You, you believe in justice. I'm listening, my friend. Uh, go ahead. I, I hope you believe in justice. My friend, so go, ahead, go ahead. Justice, do you believe in justice? Yourself. Do you believe in justice? Well, I, oh, oh, yeah. no, I'm not going to talk a lie. So, yes, I do. No, I you do. don't. Actually, no, yes. you don't. Your justice, prophet, he said, your prophet, justice. he said, if a Muslim kill a Muslim, he will be killed. If he kill non-Muslim, he paid the half of the blood. What justice, justice is that? Is, Muhammad, justice. he said, Muhammad, he said, no Muslim will be killed for killing an unbeliever. What justice? Don't talk about justice. You are not a person justice of justice. Justice is the most beautiful thing. You in don't believe Islam. in justice. Is that justice that you, Allah if, 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 just. if you murder, answer me then. Is it justice? If I murder a Muslim, I will be killed because I'm a Muslim. I killed a Muslim. But if I what murder a Christian, the punishment is not death for me. What are you quoting? The Hadith. Okay. You, uh, so which is, which is my authority, Quran or Hadith? Well, is are you going to say to me that it's weak? <laughs> no, 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 which is my authority, Quran or Hadith? Which comes first? Bo Come on, my Enjoy. friend. Both of them, because because even Hadith is equal to the Quran. If I if I quote you Quran and you quote me Hadith, okay, which, which one? Quote me, okay, quote me a Hadith. Quote me a Quran says that a Muslim, if he killed the if he killed the Christian, he would be killed for killing a Christian. I'm going to quote you a verse in the Quran, mm. and then you can bring the Hadith, and we see, we analyze. Yeah, we can, we can go. Over. Let us finish this one first. Now, go ahead. Who are the Nasara? Who are the Nasara? Which the the the, the Quran is speaking about? Uh, well, look. First of all, this verse I'm reading again, mm. and it doesn't <clears throat> you mention the word Nasara. Do you know that? The word you go. My friend, verse. my friend, aren't you the one who say that we go to the interpretation? Oh. Uh, why you always rely? Do you think interpretation is infallible? My friend, my friend. Okay, hold on. Do the chapter five mention the Nasara? Yes or no? 
chapter 5 one, one says this verse we talking about my this friend verse, it, it doesn't inside. matter no this verse this verse this, this matter, verse is about what this verse is about what i tell you what if this word word says mm. oh you nasara do you worship jesus mary and allah then i do have a point he doesn't say that he says my allah friend will ask my, my, my friend my friend my allah friend will ask jesus my friend my, my friend you, hold on 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 it's a different thing altogether hold on hold on hold on hold on Yes. Okay, when you understand the verse, you as a Muslim, you say you are a speaker corner. How you understand the verse? Uh, how I understand the verse? Uh -huh. Like, what is your guidance? You telling me every single verse I have to go to interpretation. So what do you do? Every single... What do you do? You do not need interpretation. You are you are the Prophet Muhammad, and you know everything. Okay, I'll tell you what. When mm. I read this verse, chapter mm. five, verse uh, mm. eight, O oh, you who believe, mm. stand out firmly for Allah mm. as witnesses to fair dealing, mm. and let not your hatred of others to mm. you make you swerve to to wrong and depart from justice mm. be just mm. that is next to piety and fear allah for allah is well acquainted with all that you do chapter 5 verse 8 do i need a commentary from some scholar what it means you need to you need why do i need that okay let me do let, me, let me ask you let me ask you can we read the verse verse before and verse afters in the same chapter we are reading from uh, chapter 5 verse uh, 7 and 9 you want me to read no we are reading chapter the where it says where it says that they took his mother jesus uh, allah is asking jesus did you yeah. take did you take did you tell your people to worship you and your mother that's right okay beside allah uh, can we yeah. read verses after it please so we can see allah's talking about who about who after yes okay you can take, take the verse after mm -hmm. um I said to them nothing except what you commanded me. Okay. That is, I'm reading Maududi's translation, so it might be slightly <coughs> different than yours. Mm. Serve Allah, my Lord, and your Lord. Mm. I watched over them as long I remained among them. Mm. And when you did recall me, mm. then you yourself became the watcher over them. Mm. Indeed, you are witness over everything. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Explain what you. What's your point here? What is the verse number eighteen? Oh, well, you want me to read two, two verses? Yeah. That. Okay. All right. Uh, if you chastise them, they are your servants. And if you forgive them, you are the Almighty. The are you, my friend, what are you reading? Uh, chapter 5, verse 118. What 118? You gave me 116, then I read 117 and 118. Ah, sorry, sorry, 116. I wanted to, I want you to go to beginning to introduce to you a chapter of Al-Ma'idah speaking about who? At Shatr al Maida is speaking about the Nasara. Is that correct? All of it? All of it. This why it's called. This why it's called. You see, when we speak about al Maida, there's nothing in the Quran is speaking only about one topic because your prophet he have a flight of thought. So sometimes he speak about tomato, sometimes he talk about, about zucchini. But this is not the question. The Maida is about what? Is about those who follow Jesus. This is why it's called al Maida, because Jesus he made a miracle. It's called the miracle of the Maida. Is that correct? I believe so. Yes. All right. He did. So, in the beginning of the chapter, is speaking you know what, you know in the, the, in the beginning. In the beginning of the chapter, is giving us definition. Allah speaking about who? وقالت اليهود والنصارى نحن أبناء الله وأحب أحباه. So here we will find that the Quran divide give us definition about he is talking about who. He's talking about the people of the book, and then when he mentioned always the Nasara, he mentioned specifically the Christian. When he mentioned uh, when I talk about both of them, he say Ahlul Kitab. People of the book, it can be yeah. the Christian, it can be the Jews. But when he mentioned the word Nasara, it's always to be have to be about the Christian. So now right. nowhere That's in the right. Quran, nowhere in the Quran mention any other name of any other belief except the Nasara. Do you agree? About the Christians? If there's other name for those you call them Christians, Nasara for me, but they are not, they are not Christians. Nasara are not Christians. Well, Nasara is from Nazarene, from Nazareth. Jesus Here we go. Nazareth. See, this is why I say they are not Christians. Those are people who they are. They, they, they are like Jehovah's Witnesses. They are cult. And Muhammad, he thought that those are the Christians. Those are the Nasara. This is the only Nasara he knew. This is why he thought that those are the Nasara who believe in Mary and believe in Jesus and believe in Allah. And that make him believe that this is the Trinity of who, who, who called them Nasara as a Christians. But the fact, Nasara does not exist. Yeah, but that's not the point. You know, this is the point. point. This is the point. Why your God did not mention? Okay, let us say, let us say, for the sake of argument, as long your God, he mentioned that there is a group of people they worship Mary. Are they the minority or the majority? 
group of people mention Mary. Well, listen, you put in the words in, uh, again in the Quran. What do you mean? You know, Allah is not saying that there are people worshiping. Listen to this. Yes, it says clear. that. It says Listen that. It says that. Carefully. It says that. It says that. It says. No, no, no. He, he said. Know, but, but, he but said to Jesus, to uh, "Did you? Are you the one who said to them, worship your mother?" Correct. Did you say to people, Allah is questioning yes. okay. Jesus? No, no problem. So Allah he's saying, Jesus. your Did God you claim, your God claim that those who they are Nasara, they worship Mary. You say, you still you adding things into this is the problem. You just my friend. Then who are the Nasara? Explain to me who are the one. What is the name of the religion? They worship Mary as God. Look at the, well. We know the Catholics worship Mary. They That's false. Mary. That's false. That's a big fat lie. That's a big they fat lie. Mary. Okay, here they we go. A challenge between me and you. A challenge between me and you to show right. me one Catholic in the world worship Mary and consider her as God. Yeah. No, no, no. What is what, what is worship? My friend, don't what? lie. Don't lie. What is worship? It says worship. Worship is to take it as God. Do you see the Quran? Okay. Read, read with me. Read with me. The Quran says, "Take my mother as God." Do you see it? Okay. Jesus okay. I'm, I'm, I'm read again. Beside Allah, mm -hmm. uh, uh, take my mother for God. Beside Allah. Okay. See? What? What is? Okay. What is God in Islam? What? What people do to God? My they friend, don't tell me what is God. Have... Don't. Don't they, go. They I mean, what, what a game you are playing. God they is God. Them. God is God. So the Quran claim that there's in Christianity, in Christianity, those who they are Nasara, they worship three gods. One, his name is Isa. One, his name is Mary, and one, his name is Allah. Okay, I will prove it to you from the Quran. Okay, mm -hmm. that the Allah, the all the, the pagans used to believe in gods. Whoever they worship, that is their gods. So worship means when you're asking somebody help. So what does that you mean? Ask, my friend. Asking somebody help, that's that's worship. My you, friend, you, my friend, my friend. Don't praise don't, don't fool don't fool yourself. Don't fool yourself. Don't fool yourself. Because anyone ask somebody for help, that will make him God. That's mean Muhammad is God. Because the Quran and the hadith confirm that your prophet will intercede for you. So you uh, are saying now you are confirming that Muhammad is God verse? because your God, he said, your God, Muhammad, your God, Muhammad, he said that I will be the one who intercedes for you in the day of judgment. So you are saying to me, if we ask somebody for help, that's mean we'll make him God. Then why you ask Muhammad to intercede for you if he is, if that will make him God? Which verse of the Quran is that? Unbelievable. So we, we have to keep jumping from are, place. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you saying? Let me confirm. Because we are here, you you, you said uh, you are here to call me to get me busted, right? Uh, I already did actually. Hmm. You did already. Okay. It's, it's a good. It's a good. The people they will they will see it. Okay. okay and then actually, you know what? Um, uh, this is that I was exposing your lies. Actually, I got my, my friend, my friend, my friend. So yeah. you confirm to me that you as a Muslim you don't believe anywhere in Islam it says. That your prophet will intercede for you. Um, um, that's, a, that's good. That is a good question. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. There are hadiths. A hadith did, did say that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, but I think. Well, look. Um, as I say, my my knowledge is limited. It does say there by the will of Allah. Also, if I'm not wrong, something like that. If Allah wills. My friend, you are the one so who it, said. You are the one who it, said. That if you ask somebody for help is act of worship. Mm. When I was saying that, you just cut me right in the middle. No, you were when talking about Mary. You were talking about so Mary. Asked, so I if somebody, you, you are the one who said that if somebody asks someone for help, he is he is okay. asking well, someone for help. He is doing an act of oh, worship. If you don't do that, help me. And if I ask my daughter to help me to get me a cup of tea, that means I'm worshiping him. Come on, don't play with words. Help. You know what I mean. Help. What help? What when does you, that mean? Okay, tell me what help. Tell me what help. Help is about what? It's about salvation. It's about going to heaven. When you when you ask this is about somebody. my friend. This is about religion. This is not about help to make zucchini. This is about religion. So help here is about you being saved from torture. In the, this, this, we're talking about judgment day. When I look for if I, if I if I'm here, hmm. like, sitting in my sitting room. Mm -hmm. And I'm asking, oh Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, help me and uh, and do this for me and do this for me. That will be a worship, and that's what exactly Allah is talking about. The people does to Mary and Jesus, and people are still doing. My Mary. friend, interpretation, so there's, please. There's interpretation. If you are a truthful, show me the interpretation of what you just said. Interpretation. Uh, so, which interpretation do you want me to see? My, what you are so talking different... about? What you were talking about? That help. That that that. Uh, you are the one who said, if you ask somebody for help. He is doing an act of worship. 
the, and the you are the one who said to me what's god Catholics do. What's God? So What's is. God? Okay, you are the one who said that if the if the if if the Catholic they ask Mary for help, that will make her God, correct? If they know in the eyes of God, that's a worship. So that is no that problem. God. That's a worship. So if you ask Muhammad, if you ask Muhammad to pray for you, that is an act of worship. If I ask right now, if he's dead, if he's dead, yes, that is worship, and I wouldn't do that. Okay, people, guys. People uh, in this time, okay, okay, okay. In this guys, time, if he is dead, if he is dead, if he is dead, that will be an act of worship. Is Muhammad is dead now? Muhammad is dead. Yes. Okay. So if you quote the Quran or you say you ask Muhammad for help and he is dead, that is an act of worship. But I don't. But I don't. No Muslim asks Muhammad Hassan to help. He's dead. When in his lifetime, people ask him to help. And you can ask a good person in a lifetime to help or pray, pray to God. Anybody saintly human being, you can say, look, can you pray to God for me? You are a good human being. You can in a lifetime. But when that person died, I cannot ask that person. Do you know there's a hadith of Umar He, uh, When the rain wasn't coming, he went to the uncle of Muhammad Sallallahu Abbas. And he said, in the lifetime of the Muhammad Sallallahu we used to go to him for ask for rain to pray for us. Now he's there, so we're asking you. So of course, even Umar knew that when the Prophet died, that he did. So no Muslim uh, pray to Muhammad uh, uh, now. Uh, let me let me ask you. You just said said something very important. <clears throat> I said many things important. You missed, I think, many of them. all of them for sure. Like Muhammad Hijab. Yeah. Listen, never mind. You can, you, you, you can are the one who said. You are the one who said. You are the one who said. If if you ask Muhammad help yep. when he is dead that is an act yeah. of worship absolutely all right it's sure all right well absolutely. here we go the quran in front of us okay chapter and verse okay hold on hold on let us see so, uh, don't show me the commentary please but well, you love your commentaries ah the commentary mm. but you know that so you look like the commentary is going to be is going to hurt you it's going to hurt you okay hold on hold on if we go first we will go step by step and remember you are the one who said if you ask Muhammad when he is dead, huh? if you ask Muhammad when he is dead help. for help, that means you are doing an act of worship. It's not me Absolutely. who said that. I said that. Yes, I said okay. that. I am stand by it. Okay. Can you can you give me interpretation of chapter 9, verse number 80? Why? Why interpret? Oh, okay. My interpretation. Yeah, okay. My personal interpretation. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. Uh, chapter 9, verse 80. Okay, it says it is all the same whether or not you ask for their forgiveness. Even if you were to ask forgiveness for them 70 times, Allah shall not forgive them. That is because they disbelieved in Allah and his messenger. And Allah does not bestow his guidance on such evil doing. So he's, he's telling Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, don't ask for uh, uh, for certain people. It's a contact for the context. He, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was asking for somebody's forgiveness. So he said, don't ask for their forgiveness. Mm -hmm. uh, even if you ask 70 times, I'm not going to forgive them. So okay. that is my interpretation. You tell me if I'm wrong here. Okay. So if you ask for their forgiveness 70 times, they will not be forgiven. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, 70 times. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So how many, those women? So how those women? They will be taken out of hell mm -hmm. if they will not be forgiven. Uh, that was not the question. This is the, the question. question we are, we have the same topic. We have the same topic. We have, we have, we have the same topic. Women, they are going. To, they are in hell already. What is going to make them? Which women are you talking about here? The 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 women who have nice vagina and nice nice uh, etc. Yeah. 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 They will yeah. go to. They, you say if you 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 just read for me a verse saying, if you ask for forgiveness or not, they will not be forgiven. Yeah. Okay. Right. So how those yeah. women they will get out of heaven of out of hell oh, to go to heaven? God. You are really dragging me into your box, aren't you? Okay. Dra dragging <laughs> me what? You are dragging me into your box. You 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 want to confine me in your box, and I'm not going to be confined in your box. I'll tell you. Uh, what what, what do you mean? I don't I don't understand. I don't understand. What do you mean? You were just taking me in the, in the corner. You were just want to take me in the corner, and then you just that's how you do it. You know okay. I mean? Let me let me ask you. Let me ask you. When you yeah. say to me, when you give me your own personal interpretation and you don't want me to give you any other interpretation because you are scared. And you are the no, one no, who I'm said not. to me, and you are the one who said to me that if you ask for forgiveness or not, still they will not be forgiven. 
I read the verse. I didn't say that to you. I read the verse. Okay, so are you saying this verse is not consistent with other verses? I've never said that. Okay. Can I read the verse before? No, you are the one because you are trying to swallow your words. You are saying no, to me no. now. Okay, okay, I'm hold not. on, hold on, hold on. You want me to read the context before? Can I read the context of this verse as well? What con you will read the context based on what? Uh, you asked me to read the context. What do you mean based on what? My friend, you know, aren't you the one? Yeah. Aren't you the one who is refusing to read the interpretation of the scholars? Uh, CP, what are you doing? My I friend, can aren't you the one who refused the interpretation of the I'm scholars? I'm simply asking you, can I read the words before that so we can understand better? Is there any problem? No problem, that? no problem. But you gave me already the interpretation. You said they will not be forgiven. So I am. Who are they? My question Whoever they you, are, who are, are they? they? Who are they? The one who is a sinner, yeah, who are they? Who is the one who will not be before. forgiven? Okay, who is. Okay, hold on, 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 hold on. People, they will go to hell for what reason? You're going to go to hell because you lie a lot. Okay, so yeah. when a person he go to hell, That's he go thing. okay, no problem, no problem. You, you can insult as much you want. Uh, uh, people who go to uh, hell, are they I are they going I, to I, hell? I are they going to hell because all of them they deserve to go to hell or not? Say that again, sorry. A person who go to hell is he in hell because he deserved to go to hell or not? Uh, Allah is so just. Nobody will be uh, uh, dealt unjustly. Anybody go to hell, they deserve hell. Of course they do. All right. So if you. Try to read for me and you say let us see what kind of people they are doesn't matter all of them deserve to go to hell so the women I, I, and the women in that hadith is people who deserve to go to hell right yes of course okay so why they are going to be forgiven and they will be taken out of hell so my question to you is is this talking about these women this verse well it's talking about all the people no, so he's not talking about these women, <laughs> uh, is it? My friend, are you saying your God Allah is saying that He will not forgive those who go to hell for a specific people only? They are they are in hell already. Already he's not you know already they are in hell for you said to me they are all of them the same. You are the one your who point, said to me. Your point is great. Mm -hmm. Only mm -hmm. if it was only great if that hadith was authentic. So your your whole argument is on the weak hadith, and I, that's how I started my argument. That hadith is weak. Mm. I do not believe that. Mm. That hadith, weak mm. hadith. I do not. I, I don't rely on that. Okay. L uh, let me let me ask you a question. Am I right? Am I wrong? No problem. No problem. No problem. You that hadith is weak. So your argument fails. So I guess you bust again. My friend, let us see. What do you think? Let us see who's getting busted. Don't hang up. People will laugh. I'm not hanging up. You I'm said. You said. You said. You said. I'm going nowhere. That if you, you me let me remind you of nowhere. something. We all you said. The you, you said. You said. You, you said yes. that if we ask the prophet for help and he is dead, yes. that is an act of worship. Absolutely. Is Muhammad I dead? I stand by it. Is Muhammad dead? If you show me, if you show me, prove it to me. Is Muhammad you, dead? No, no, I want you to confirm. I want you to confirm. You me or not, but I learned something. I will learn My something. My friend, I, I'm asking you a very uh, 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 easy question. Do you believe that your prophet is dead? Of course he is. All right. Is it true that Muhammad he said that you have read the Quran because the Quran will be presented to me and the Muslims they said to him how we will present the Quran for you when you are dead? He said you think prophets are dead but the fact they are not. Mm -hmm. Is that true? That's a different existence. Dead in this life. That didn't my friend is dead and you're alive and you are now reciting the Quran for him but he's dead yeah, and you are the one the... and and you are the one who said you are the one who said that if you ask the prophet for help while he is dead this is an act of worship yes how you can do that what is your source can you provide me a source okay let's see I I don't expect you to trust me and I don't think I trust you as well I want to read the source. Well, I don't, I don't trust any Muslim anyway. <clears throat> well, I trust many Christians. There are many good friends. Uh, they are good people. But uh, I'm afraid my experience with you is I don't know. What do you mean? Uh, what do you mean you trust uh, Christians? What does that mean? Uh, as, a, as a human being and their word, I do. You do what? I, I do so I trust their word. Many of the Christians, I trust their words. I do. As a, as a human being, I trust no, their are you uh, Are you a Muslim allowed to trust the Christians? Oh, <laughs> okay.
Okay. Uh, do we allow you to ask question? Yeah. Okay. You want me to take it to the box? I will go with you uh, into that box where you're taking me right now. Uh, yes. Yes. Are you yes. sure? Are you sure? I'm, I'm, I'm definitely sure. Prove can, me wrong. Can you give me a proof? Well, I can't. I, I, on top of my mind, top of my head, I can't. I don't. Well, I okay. Don't as long, let us let us change the topic a little bit. Get you busted. In chapter yes, five, yes. in chapter Fair five, enough. verse number uh, uh, fifty-one, it says, "Take not Christians and Jews as a friends and protectors." Right. Five and if you do so, you are one of them. Mm -hmm. Believers do not take the Jews and the Christians as a friends your, uh, for your allies. It's or friends allies. and if you do so you are one of them how do you say friend in arabic oh yeah is a saying and how do you say protector in arabic it's a saying so why are you taking as a friend why can't you take it as a protector why are you taking the way you want because to simply if somebody who will protect you obviously is your friend too right uh not necessarily ah okay here we go this is a translation in front of me this is your muslim translation it says oh who you believe take not the jews and the christians for your friends and protectors they are but the friends and protectors to each other and he amongst you that he turns to them for friendship is, is of them he is one of them so now you are saying to me i trust the christians and i have them as a friends so if you have them as a friends and you trust them that's mean you are one of us so you left islam oh hallelujah uh, can i say something now <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah can i say something go ahead okay you know what um let's say for the sake of argument uh, no, no, for the sake of argument. Why is it for the sake of argument? Let's say the friend word is not there. It says, if you take them as your protectors, do you have a problem with that? You think you, your, your case become weak? If he says, if you take them as your protector, then your case is not strong. Is that right? I'm listening, my friend. Don't tell me it's right yeah. or not. It says, so, if you take them okay. as a friend or protectors, you are okay. one of them. No, no, no. Your translation is using both words, friends and protectors. I wonder why. Because they hear... The word used with Nasara Aulia. Why, when they say Aulia, they're using both words, friend and protector? I wonder. And every time it says Aulia, your translation says friend or protector. Why? Why, if it doesn't say friend, but it says protector? Where? Where, where it says protector? Where, where it says protector? Where it says protector? Where it says protector? Aulia. Aulia. Aulia is Do you speak Arabic? Do you speak Arabic? You Do you speak Arabic? No, I didn't. So okay, how you know? Help? So you how you? Me. Okay, here we go. I'm showing you Muslim I'm translation. To to I'm showing you. I'm showing you the Muslim translation. You see, it's like you look like you like you like a certain translation, and you like it, and you stuck with it. This is Yusuf <laughs> Ali. Is he as a Muslim imam or he is a uh, he's a Hindu? I I I'm uh, reading uh, Maududi's translation. Much, no problem. Much, no problem, my friend. My friend, Maududi, Maududi, Maududi. Okay, let us let us fix this argument based yeah. on this verse. Regardless of the translation, which is scholar agree with you that you can take a Christian or a Jew as a friend? I I know what you're saying, and there are many Muslims have this problem. My friend, don't tell me we have a problem. You have all of Islam is a problem. Don't don't play no, games. Give me one scholar in the world agree with you saying that yes, we can take a Christians and Jews as a friends as interpretation for this verse. Uh, look, the verse itself. Don't uh, tell I me. Look, I don't want to look. You see, I want to I want to finish this. Okay. Because okay, you're playing games, this. you're playing games. Which is scholar no, you agree? Enough. Which is scholar? My, right. not my friend, my friend. You see, you are jumping from topic to topic like a monkey, and you are Am trying I? to say you are trying to say that you are getting me busted. But the fact each time we we speak about something, you claim don't go to interpretation, don't read interpretation, don't go there, don't go here. So you want to debate me without going anywhere. So why not? Why do you want to do that? Give me one Muslim scholar agree with you about this chapter and about the verse we are talking about. That you are telling the truth, that you have a Christians you can trust, and they can be your friends. Show me. Who first is the scholar? All, agree with you. First of all, I'm not jumping from here today. Actually, I'm going wherever you're taking me. Really? You are opening verses. Okay, now show I'm me. No problem. I'm not show me, my friend. Anywhere. Convince, convince the crowd, not me. What Secondly, is the scholar name? What is the scholar name? I agree with you. Are you saying to me by by running away from giving me one scholar agree with you that no scholar in the world agree with you? Why you keep using the term running away? Don't because go, you need to show me. Show me one is scholar that. agree with you. There's no way. There's 1.1 billion Muslims. And yet you cannot find me. One Muslim agree with you. You know, you you are very, very good. And I give you that. You, you play psychology with people in you know, psychology. That's what you do. <laughs> you keep using the word every three, four minutes. Don't run away. Don't hang up and all that like I'm doing that. And people uh, who, who listen to you, they think, oh, yeah. 
So I think that you believe that the, the, if you lie lo loud enough and often enough, people will follow you. And this is, this is, this is obvious, that's what you're doing. I'm not running away anyway. But what I'm admitting is this. First of all, that you are much more informed in, in knowledge than me. But when you put something across to me, don't expect me, expect that I'm going to come back straight away with the answer. I'm, I'm admitting that. But if you're saying that to me, to prove it to me, if any Muslim scholar agree with me, I can look into that. I my friend, my friend, my friend. I can come back as to long, As long as you are calling me, okay, how how you explain to me a verse without going and checking it? Uh, so are you, you are saying to me, I am a person who have no knowledge. I'm calling you to get you busted. But I do not know much. I, I'm, I'm, I'm no one. I know nothing. And there is yeah. no scholar agree with me. I have my own opinion. I am the only Muslim who believe in this. And the rest forget about them. And that. I don't have I'm time. No, you said that. Otherwise, okay, what, I'm what, that I'm why you keep saying that. to me, why I each time that. I mention something to you, why you say to me, don't show me the interpretation? The, uh, okay, that's the question I was going to ask you. Mm. Okay, uh, CP, do you believe interpretations are infallible? My friend, I believe Islam, all of it is false. <laughs> that's not the question your prophet himself is false so, so this is not nice. no this is he's the question the you, when, you, when, you, when you say to me when you say business. to me my friend when you say to me do you believe in this I believe Islam all of it is false uh, CP I, I think you are selective when you take uh, interpretation you see you not? my friend my, you, you, my, uh, you are trying to avoid the challenge because uh -huh. why you are giving me your own false interpretation yet you claim that you are the one who knows but in, when when you are in the corner, suddenly I am. In, you introduce yourself as a speaker corner. You introduce yeah. yourself that you want to get me busted. You introduce yourself that you know. And the second we start squeak, squeezing you, and the mayonnaise is coming out. Suddenly you came it. You, <laughs> you take it all off, and you say, "I have to admit that you have a lot knowledge more than me. I do not know much. I have to go and do some study. I have to do some search." And no, Christian Prince, you are scared of me. And it's Christian Prince, why you don't answer me? Christian Prince, why you don't debate me? And when we debate you. You run, you're saying, I do not know. I'm not. I'm not. So Let's tell me then why you said to me, I do not know. A second ago, a second ago, you said to me, I do not know anything. I am, I know nothing. I know CP. nothing. You do CP. not know anything. CP, I know enough that Aliyah does not only mean friend. Okay. So you must understand. No, my friend, that you do not know because if you know, then you have to prove verse, it. You, if, 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 if you know, if you know, you have to prove it. It's not enough to say, I no, know no. what is enough. You see here we don't make our opinion i don't give you my opinion about the verses i show you what it says if you, if you can prove me wrong prove me wrong so when you say you to do. me when you say to me the verse does not mean that you don't even speak arabic you, you do not even know how to, to, to pronounce the name of your prophet correctly let me hear you say muhammad muhammad see you do not know even how to say your prophet name correctly so even the name you get it is wrong it and yet it is muhammad not muhammad is it a sin my friend it's a sin to lie and to say to me that no, no, you know no. what you are talking about. And when I ask you what is the meaning, you cannot prove to me what you are claiming to be the meaning. I did. I proved my friend, you. my friend, you proved to I me. Read, I read. Quran thank you, you. thank you I for, said, thank you for calling. Thank you for calling. I, I really. Hang on, I, me. You, no, you, no, no. You, you see, I, there's no point of speaking with someone saying to me, "I do not know." I do not okay. know. You just admitted that you do not know. You admitted so, that you do not. So what? You okay. So why you why you don't want? Okay, hold on. Let us accept the challenge again. Let us go to zero. Name for me one scholar agree with you. Okay. The guys, the guy who became Muslim. My friend, Muslim my friend. Islam, name for me. Muslim. Name for me one, one scholar Muslim. agree with you. If you are not lying, if you are not fabricating, if you are not practicing taqiyya, name one scholar agree with you that you can take a Christians and Jews as a friends. You can. So can you? Okay. Can no, you no, no. listen? Listen. Can I say something? Can you? Can you give me twenty seconds? Can I have twenty seconds to speak? <laughs> I'm talking no, no, to you seriously. already for an hour. Is it? Okay. Yeah. That's good. Not bad. I was yeah. lasting with you for an hour. Not bad. Right. Right. Any, huh. Anyway, listen. Um, twenty, 20 seconds. I say. First of all, let's say you say, "Can you prove it to me?" Any scholar that agrees with me, and I told you the reason. I'm I'm very limited in uh, in all the information. But I put you back question to you. Are you saying every scholar agree with what you're saying? Yes, did you hear this? Are you saying every scholar agree with what you're saying? Yep. <laughs> it meaning you cannot you cannot be friend. Look how with, look how look how funny you are. Look how funny. Oh. Are you saying to me? Look, look how you are proving to me. You are proving to me that you Muslims, you follow our religion, very confusing to the point oh. even scholars don't agree with each other because you are saying to me, 
you do every scholar agree with you which means there's a scholars agree with me and there's a scholars don't agree with me and this is the challenge for you name for me one scholar yes, don't agree with me okay scholar. a challenge a challenge a challenge you said to me are you seeing christian prince that every scholar agree with you brother yes i say every scholar agree with me show me one don't agree with me okay so you're saying every scholar agree with you that uh yes be friends yes christian. yes every scholar. yes every scholar oh it's going to be so easy to bust you okay really. i'm i'm listening well, no, I'm not providing you now. I'm going to call you tomorrow. <laughs> no, because if you said that, Abdul, is Abdul. No, I will get you busted right now. I will go right now to at tafsir.com and I will show all the tafsir in the website. All of them, the real scholars, not Zakir Naik, Potato Tomato. Those are the scholars, and we will see. It? We will see. We will see what they are saying. If they I are see, saying, if they are I saying what I, I am saying, screen, Abdul, man. Abdul. Abdul, you've been served and you've been cooked. My name is Abbas. You've been, you've been, not only you've been slaughtered, you've been barbecued. You call me to get me busted, Abdul? Are no you words. serious? No words. Are you serious? Okay, let's go. No words. Listen to me, no. listen to me. me chapter 5, chapter 5, chapter 5, verse number 51. Name for me, any scholar you wish. Any scholar you wish, right now. Maududi. El Maududi, who is El Maududi? Oh my God! You don't even. My friend, are you the one who said to me translation of Al Maududi? He he has a tafsir tafhimul Quran. Okay, you want tafhimul Quran, guys? He said Al Maududi, correct? Yeah. Okay, be my witness. Oh go. I will go to Al Maududi. And remember your word. You say every. My brother, my brother. Let us see Al Maududi. Al Maududi, Maududi is your scholar, right? I can assure you right now. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. You're wrong. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is this is my challenge to you. I'm going to come back to you to prove that you are wrong. My friend, don't come to me. We are here. Don't, don't, don't run. Don't run. Let us finish. Everybody I'm will love. <laughs> All right, hold on. It's a psychology you play with people. Hmm. I'm listening. You're trying to find you the the you like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. Uh, a few more Quran. That you show me that you can't be friend with uh, Christians. Period. Hmm. That's it. You can never be friendly with Christian. And you know what? Oh, I just remember something to bust you. Oh, I just remember something to bust you. But I need your help so I can bust you. Yeah, okay. You are busting me all the yeah. way, you know. I mean, uh, no, no. I mean, now you want to bust me? Already you did. Already yeah, 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 yeah. I just remember something. You see, Allah has put something in my mind. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Yes, yes. All right. <laughs> Let us see. Before you go to the seat, I, actually, I can. Well, that's why right. I'll give you a chance. You, you just show me. The female Quran says that you can never be friends with any Christian. Hmm. We are waiting. Clock is ticking. Well, I'm looking for for you. Do you have a link for a Maududi? Yeah, I'm looking for this. I'm looking for this Maududi. Duty. <laughs> can you provide me with the link? Yeah. I'm well, trying to I'm help not. you. I'm trying to help you. To find okay. it, where is where is this guy Al Maududi? Listen, okay. Before you find that, can I uh, give you a proof that you can be friends with uh, Christians and my and friend, Jews? my friend? No, from don't, the Quran, don't from the Quran. Don't verse from the Quran. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, right, go ahead. Subhanallah, right, Subhanallah. Chapter five, verse five. Uh -huh. This day, all good things have been made lawful to you. Mm. The food of the people of the book <clears> is permitted to you, mm. and your food is permitted to them. Mm -hmm. And permitted to you are mm -hmm. chaste women, be they either from among the believers mm -hmm. or from among those who have received the book before you, meaning Christians and Jews. Mm -hmm. And this is the interpretation of uh, the sea of Maududi of this verse. Mm -hmm. And He's talking about the okay, Jews and the as Christians. long as this is tafsir of Maududi, why would they give me a Maududi link so we can see the verse? I can't. I can't put on the internet. Why you cannot? Why? 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 I'm why, not, why? I'm not you see, savvy why they are not I'm counting this guy Al Maududi in the list of the scholars here? You see, I'm looking at all the tafsirs. Where is Al Maududi? Do you yeah, see? Yeah, do you yeah, see him? CP, CP, CP my friend. My friend. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Same time. Same time. You, same CP, time. Same you, time. Let me see. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. I was making a point. My friend. No. You no. Don't, you. You make. You, know, you, you make. You make. You make as many points as you want. Everybody you make a that. point as you want, as you wish. Your prophet, he ordered to kill all the Christians and all the Jews if they don't convert to Islam. And he said, don't take them because they are my enemies. And when I say to you, show me one scholar agree with you, you said to me, Al Maududi. Now show me Al Maududi. Can you show me Al Maududi? Can you show me Al Maududi? 
what is what is why why he is not why he is not listed here all the scholars agree with me and i challenge you to prove me wrong i challenge you i am proving it you wrong right where you prove me wrong the verse you you say to me they, it says they can cook for you you can marry from them so what muhammad he want to spread islam he in the beginning he forbid them he forbid them from listen listen abdul what in them al mushrikun and najis is the mushrikun and najis or not is the mushrik is the mushrikun and najis or not is the mushrikun and najis or not why are you calling me because you are abdul isn't it muhammad he says everyone is a slave of allah okay so okay. that's abdullah not abdul this is abdul now listen no no abdullah abdullah is a slave of shaitan because his the father of muhammad is abdullah are you slave you are a slave of shaitan. No, are you? I'm asking. Is, you is the father of Muhammad? His name is Abdullah. Yes or no? Yes, yes. Okay. So why he is going to don't go to hell? Don't change the topic. You, are, you, you, you are the one who mentioned. You are the one who switched no, to no, Abdul. No, I, I'm asking you a question. Now, are Abdul, 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 listen, listen. All the interpretation, no, no, no. all the interpretation yes in no. front of me, get you new busted. This is Ibn Kathir in front of my oh, eyes. This, this is Ibn Kathir. This is Ibn Kathir. Get you busted. Did I? Choose anyone else and Mududi is not here. What I would do? Where is the Mududi? Can I have 30 seconds? My friend, where is the Mududi to show it to you? Do you sit in the list with Why me? Here we go. I am showing you. I'm showing you the list of the scholars. He is not even counted as a scholar. Okay, fair enough. Okay, let's let's forget about Mududi. Okay, can you choose for me a scholar? Okay. Can I have to Can you me? choose? No, no, no. Can you choose for me oh, a scholar? People, what do you think? Why is not giving me chance? Be no, I'm, not, I'm giving you a chance. You want to jump over the topic. Can you show me a scholar? Agree with you. I'm only look how many scholars we have in the list. Look, look how many. Look, look. I we have, we have like, we have like three hundred. We have a, a, a like three hundred scholars, and not even one of them agree with you. In in the name of God, just give me thirty seconds. The name, the name of the black stone. <laughs> in the name of God, just give me thirty seconds. If you are, if you are for the sake of the truth, my friend, let me ask you. Tafsir al Maududi, written which year? People, I'm asking in 30 seconds, why is not giving me 30 Tafs seconds? Tafsir al Maududi, written which year? I say, forget about Maududi if you can't find it. I'm asking you to give me 30 seconds. Ooh, 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 Can ooh, I? Ooh, 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 30 seconds? Yes. All the, 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 the time you spoke until now, you don't, don't have 30 seconds yet? You never gave me. Oh, I'm okay. Really? Permission. Really? People are witnessing. I'm asking your permission. Okay, go ahead. Thank you very much. So this verse, chapter 5, verse 5, is actually telling you to marry uh, the uh, people of the book. Now, if your question is, if Hadith is telling you, you can never be friends with Christians and Jews, you're basically telling me, Allah telling you to marry with your enemies, live life with your enemies. That's what you're saying? Is this your logic and reason, CP? Are you telling me, Hadith say, don't be friends with Christians and Jews, Tafsir so say that, but the Quran telling you to marry, have a wife, and Jew, and you're telling me you it's your enemy, you can never be friends with her, but you can marry. Hello, <laughs> and that guy is gone. Are you there? Hello. 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 I don't want to hang up on him. He will say you hang up. Are you there? Dude, are you there? I don't know what happened. All right. Call me back, Abdul. I'm trying to find Al Maududi so yeah. we can we can read for him Al Maududi so we can love. Okay. Let me see. I'm trying to find Al Maududi. Just to show you how they lie. I never saw a Muslim telling the truth ever.
and you notice how they jump from place to place and when, when you when you squeeze them hard this is we I did not even squeeze him hard actually I was just uh, going softly on him the second you start squeezing is the same second he said to me I don't claim that I know more than you but you are the one who called me to get me busted so you want to get me busted but you do not know more than me and when we challenge him to show us one scholar agree with him he could not he, he, he named for me a book which I cannot find anywhere if anyone please guys can find me the book let us love Okay, let's see here, maybe this website. Court B. Tabari. Uh, okay. Hold on. Okay, we found we I found Al Maududi. Let us get this guy uh, uh, bust, uh, Abdul busted. I found this verse, interpretation for chapter three, verse number. This is the verse. لا يتخذ المؤمنون الكافرين. Let us see. Maybe somebody send me a link for Al Maududi. What is that? Okay, well, we can try. Let us see. All right. Let us see. This is Al Maududi. All right. Let us go. Chapter 5. Uh, thank you for the one who sent it. We need to go. But what is mean? This man, this, we have to go all the way down. Oh, boy. Call me back, Abdul. Call, call me. Look like we got you, Al Maududi. You see, I do not know what is even written in there, but I am sure what I'm talking about. Call me back, Abdul. Uh, oh, believer, take not the Jews or the Christians as your friends. This is Al Maududi. Liar. This is your shish kebab, Al Maududi. Do you see it? Do you see guys how they lie? This is Al Maududi. Oh, who you believe? Take not the Jews nor the Christians as friends. They are one friends only. If any of you takes them as a friends, surely he shall be counted among them. Which means he's out of Islam. <laughs> <laughs> brother, read for me Al Maududi, brother. Brother, a Christian prince, uh, today I call you. I'm a, I'm a speaker corner, and I'm going to get you busted, brother. And uh, you are lying, brother. Uh, brother, we Muslims, we are going to get you busted, brother. Uh, my friend, uh, speaker corner, you did not mention your name to us. Don't forget to post in the text down there your name, so we will make you famous more. Please give me your name. Leave it in the in the after we finish the broadcast. If you will not dare to call me again, and tell me why you lie to us. Says Al Maududi did not say that, and you are the one who chose Al Maududi. And as you see, this is a, this is a website I do not know. I never used before. This is here we go. We go on the top. Okay, it says, Sayyid Abu Al Abu Al Maududi. Do you see it? He is the one who chose, not me. It was his choice. When I say Muslims, they lie. We are sharing the truth. Those people, they lie. They cannot be honest. They love to lie.
This is why I say, when you debate a Muslim, you are not debating a Muslim. You are playing with the devil. He will do his best to lie as much as he can. But anyway, it always turns for our benefit. They try to defend, but they get their profit busted. They try to fight, but they do the opposite. Hello? Yeah, hello, CP. Yes, my um, friend. I just want to know that uh, the, the guy that you were talking to is a, he's on speaker corner. He has a lot of video on the on YouTube, but um, hmm. I think I can recognize his face on the on the speaker corner. Just let you know that um, his video is there a lot. That he also debate on speaker corner, as you already said, that the video is there. Yeah. Well, you know th that's even better because that will show everybody that those who they are in speaking corner, they are a bunch of potatoes. They do not know what they are talking about. They go to speaker corner, but yet they have no education. They don't maybe even have high school about Islam. Or maybe even normal high school but yet they want to go in the speaker corner and they want to educate you about their religion and the second they meet with somebody he asked them questions which they cannot answer very simple questions they run away like potatoes and they don't never come back I mean why why he don't call back <laughs> why he don't call back al Maududi, here we go we found al Maududi for him what do you want more you ask for a Maududi? you made a search all this time for the Maududi uh, uh, boy Okay, we found Al Maududi. You see, they choose they choose something they thought is going to make a difference for them. Okay, I'm going to ask him for something. It's not the, in the website he always usually he use to get us busted. So what we will do, we will say to him Al Maududi. And then we go and we spend our time looking for this guy Al Maududi. What we will do now? Any Muslim? Look what Al Maududi he said. Let me show the screen. My my friend, look your your connection is bad, so I have to hang up on you. This is Al Maududi. It's a moral condition, my friend. You cannot take them as a friend. Moral condition of the Jews and the Christians, the believers have been warned not to take their friends and confidence. Do you see it? This is Al Maududi. Doody, doody, doody. This is doody al faid. Doody. Oh, who you believe, take not the Jews and the Christians as a friends. Why? Because the enemy of Allah. Because they are the enemy of Allah. Liars. Liars, we are here to get you busted. Did you have a good time, guys? Did we have a good time? I hope this guy, if he is brave enough to download the video in his conversation with me and to post it in YouTube without any editing, if he is brave. You know what I mean? Because if this is a victory, I advise every Muslim to, the, to, to download the video, which is a victory for Islam. Here we go, your brother, he was busting me all the way. Copy it all over. Don't cut anything, brother, because it was a pure victory for Allah. If you don't do that, it means he's a coward. Call him, please. Yeah, where is his name? 
because he is not in my list. Where is his name? I'm trying to find which one he called me from. Okay. This one, I think. Let us see. See, he's gone. His history is gone. Yeah, I'm calling him, I'm calling him, but he is not answering. He's gone, he's, he's offline, he's gone. Hello? Hello, CP, this is Simon. Hey, my brother, how are you? Hello. So, um, I'd like to ask for your interpretation of what you're showing on the screen. Um, you're showing basically a doctrine of warfare against a civilization that's outside their civilization. How should we interpret this? That's it. There is no, there is no friendship between us and them. And if you are a Christian and you take them as a friend, it means you are a fool, because you know they will not accept you as a friend, and you are just fooling yourself, saying, "Okay, they are friends." Very simple. I mean, it says it clearly. You can go and read all the interpretation in, in, in Muslim books have. Yeah, all of them they say that you cannot take them as a friends for they are your enemies so any christian he say i have a muslim friend he's fooling himself he's being stupid sorry to say that but we have them as our neighbors in our countries i mean how should we interpret it this is very very serious well this it's is very serious. Traits that's it of, there's no other interpretation that's it treason you see the muslims the muslims if they are following islam they will not take you as a friend you might find a muslim he don't follow islam he take sure. you as a friend, but how we will know now which one? Because the Muslim, remember, in chapter three, verse number, if we go, this is Al Maududi, right? This is Al Maududi. I will use the Maududi, which he because he like. If we go That's to Al Maududi and we go to chapter three, verse number twenty-eight. Okay, you will find that the Quran says that you cannot take us as a friend, but you can lie to us, claim to be a friend. If we go here, let us see to verse number twenty-eight. <clears throat> All right. Let not the believers make the disbelievers their friends and take them into the, their confidence, preference of the believers. Whoever will do this shall have no re uh, relation left to Allah. The liar was saying to me that he is a Muslim, he have a Christian friend, he trusts them, etc. When I questioned him, he said, no, we can. Are you saying to me we can marry of Christian women, but we cannot be friend to you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I heard about that. And that's that's also very interesting. You had an interesting broadcast. Because I found out about, two, about you two years ago, uh, CP. I have basically two, two of your books. And what you have taught me is that Muslims are willing to deceive. And this is something that my Western mind won't accept. Well, uh, I mean, I, I cannot, I cannot say if somebody is. You see, even in law, they say uh, uh, being ignorant does not protect you. You cannot say I was ignorant. You know, you cannot. Yeah, so yeah, but if, it, it if they is be very, ignorant, very different from our worldview. You know, if someone tells you a price, then that's the price. You know, it's not like they're adding ten times the price to try to trick you. So this is a little bit different from what we are taught. Yeah. Well, and. This, yeah, this, so why, this is why this why I'm here, my friend. I'm here to to teach you what is right, what is true, and I always show the reference, and I get them busted. And look what happened now. This guy was arguing with me, and he challenged me. Are you saying that all the scholars agree with you? I said yes. I said okay. Well, prove me wrong. Give me the scholar agree with you, not with me. He gave me this. Look, he he's the one who named for me. That proved that he is an idiot. He's a donkey. He never even read the book he's talking about. Yeah, I, I do agree with that. I mean, all doctrine, all verse, all hadith, I do agree with that. Um, but also we know in psychology that there's a discrepancy between behavior and attitudes. It's called cognitive dissonance. Basically, you believe one thing, but in your behavior, you will do something else. What do you think about that? I cannot comment much about something that's called behavior. I can't comment. No, cognitive I can, dissonance. I, I, I can say that a human being human being sometimes he chose to be stupid because he didn't want to face something uh he hate he hate to face as simple as that you know? okay let, let me let me just formulate my question differently I, I heard your discussion with a muslim lady a couple of years ago it's on youtube fantastic conversation it's one hour 
she was coming off as Islam is very peaceful, is good for women, and then just squeezed her, you know, for a while. And she was like, yes, I cannot take Muslims as my friends. And she was just taking, basically telling her, telling you everything that she thought. And my question is, do you think that most Muslims believe what the Quran says? You cannot be a Muslim if you don't believe in the Quran, what the Quran says. You cannot be a Christian if you don't believe what Jesus said, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah no, no. Yeah. no I so, think it's wrong, so, so to be to be called Muslim, what is Muslim? Muslim is somebody to believe in Islam, and this is Islam. But we also have Coca-Cola light Muslims. You know, they don't read the stuff. They don't know about stuff. They're just born into it, you know? Yeah, but you see, this is what I'm saying. There's a Muslim. Yeah. There's a Muslim by name. There's a Muslim. Now, Muslim by name, how I know that this guy... He is not trying to act as if he is a Muslim by name. Sure. You know, because the Quran allowed him that chapter, the, the same verse we are reading. It says you can, you can guard yourself from them. You cannot take them as a friend, but you can speak to them in a friendly way. But in your heart, you should not believe that they are your friends. So yeah, he, I've seen he it. can I've say seen to me, I don't believe in this. That's just to protect himself. He can, he is allowed to deny his belief. You know? So if we if we take what 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 the verse says seriously, that means that we have uh, maybe you can correct me if I'm wrong. We have a population that have a hidden agenda um, to destroy our civilization. Yeah, actually, a human being destroy always his civilization by himself, and and most them they are destroying themselves too. You see, sure, Islam Islam is is uh, is not only destroying others; is trying destroying Muslims too. Because when a Muslim he believe in destruction, the first thing destruction will bring is destruction. And that will be for mankind and Muslim is the first to suffer go right now 50 50 people they get killed today in, in suicide bombing in Afghanistan another 40 in Somalia kidnapping in Libya I mean it's all over all over you know because of Islam how filthy yesterday they arrested a group of people in Australia they were trying to shoot as many as they can of Australian waiting for the crowd to be shot and to be killed that is Islam so now we have the whole world in chaos because of filthy cult teaching hate sure i have no problem to take a muslim as a friend why why not i mean why not yeah, he, yeah. he's a human being like me he can be a good person he can be a nice person he can be even better for me from somebody he, he claimed to be a christian but sure. here because because of this teaching i will be stupid to believe that he is my my friend because now what i what if he is a person is aware of this and he believe as long as he called himself muslim that's when he believe in this yeah yeah of course um so yeah, I, I do agree that what you're saying is the Muslim belief. That's their attitude based on their books. And we have statistics on Muslim actually agreeing with this. I do agree with this. But this also means that if we're going to take what they believe serious, that means that our way of viewing them is different now. You know, you have to take um, safety pr uh, precautions because this is about your kid's future, right? So how do you as a Christian, I'm a Christian as well, by the way. And for those who are asking in the chat, yes, this is Taki Watch. I'm asking how do you as a Christian reconcile what what Christ taught to love your enemies while people are committed to a dangerous ideology how do you my get friend, these two together my friend the bible teach us to be smart like the snake is smart supposedly sure. here and to be peaceful like a pigeon so yeah. you have you have to bring two together peaceful and stupid that is not being christian so as long as i know peaceful i love peace promote peace teach peace teach love we don't teach hate yeah same time I have to be smart as long as I know that those principles believe that they have a duty to fight me and to kill me and they have a target to take over me so then if I allow them to do that as it's that's, that's me. I'm right. being stupid so that's I right. have to prevent them from doing their target and I do that by spreading knowledge ignorance is the number one problem is in the world yeah because yeah. now anyone who saw what happened today he will agree that he cannot take a Muslim as a friend, not because he is against that, but because Islam is against that. That's right. So if I take him as a friend, I have no problem to take him as a friend, but he, his religion, uh, don't allow him. So if I believe he's my friend, that means I'm being stupid. Yeah, I, I don't understand what you mean. Yeah. So, so we have, we to, have, we it, have to find, we have to fight stupidity. You see, bef yeah. before fighting Islam, we have to fight stupidity. The Bible says my people, they've been destroyed because of their ignorance. So yeah, we'll see a four. Yeah. The problem in the world today is ignorance. Ignorance is every uh, even like even if you take it in a scientific way, uh, why people are dying from cancer because we are ignorant about cancer, how we can fight it. You know, I'm sure time will come and they will find a very easy solution to cancer. 
Not long time ago, millions they used to die by the flu. Every year, millions and millions of people die. Sure. It's sure. A, it's just a stupid flu, but it was a small, tiny bacteria that kill millions. So what was killing them is our ignorance. So in order to have a better life, safe life, secure life, you need to fight your ignorance. And this is one okay, of the so, ignorance we are suffering so, so, from. So let's be practical. So if you know, if, if people here knows what, what you have shown on the screen, so how do you implement this in reality? So you know that people have a hidden agenda if they believe this stuff. So how do you deal with it? I mean, is it like you don't taking people from a certain nation that has Muslim majority nation? How do you implement this in reality? Well, I cannot tell everyone what to do. You see, everybody sure. has his own brain and everybody has his own situation. It's not like a fixed solution for everybody. But yeah. I will have caution that those people don't, they believe in me as an enemy. So I always I have to look at it in a certain way that they are not, they don't mean what they say. He's trying to call me, if you don't mind, I will take him back, okay? Okay, do that. Let us see, he's online now. I don't think he's trying to call me, but he is. he's online. Thank you, my friend. Okay. <coughs> Hello. Hey, my friend, the speaker corner. I really do apologize. My connection was completely gone bad, so all I was right. trying all the time. Okay, yes, my friend. I was I was listening to you, listening okay. to you. Okay. Yes, go ahead. We have a Maududi in the front of us, and a Maududi yes. agree with me, not with you. What we will do now? Uh, which verse and what did he say? You can go to any verse you want. This is a chapter three, verse twenty-eight, and we will show you verse 20, 20, uh, five fifty-one, the one we were talking about. Okay. In both so, scenario, the both scenario, yeah, Elmo do they agree with us? So what you what you want to say? Uh, I'm going to read it. Is that right with you? Sure. <clears throat> okay. It says the believers may not take the unbelievers for their allies. My friend, are you, reading, are you reading Elmo do they? I'm reading Elmo do they. Yeah, I'm reading the guys. Um, guys, translation. do you see what he is saying? It doesn't say that. All you believe, my friend. All who you believe. Do not take the Jews nor the Christians as your friends. They are one another friends only. And this is uh, El Maududi. This is El Maududi. Let me show you. Three, my friend, let, let me show you. Let me show you the top of the link. See, I can't see the screen. Yes, okay, yes. I will give you. I will give you the link. No problem. Let me give you the link in your Skype, please. Okay. You know, I'm not. One second. Just hold on a second. I have to call my daughter. I'm not very good in these things. This is the second time ever I'm calling Skype. Hmm. Just give me a second. Oh, yes, you send me the link. All okay. right, this is El Maududi. Check it out. Uh, all right, I press the link. Okay, English tafsir.com. This is a Muslim website. Nothing, nothing comes up. You just, I just press the link. No, I should come. Why not? In your in, in the screen, I can just see debate TV and the blue screen. No, no, no. click at the chat. Click at the chat. There's a link there. Did you see the link? Uh, chat, you mean on the left corner? Yeah, yeah in the left corner, there is like a conversation. Yeah, okay. All right. Click at yes. the link. Click at the link, please. Uh, I did. All right. Surah Al Maida. Okay. Okay. Al Maududi. Yes, Al Maududi. Does it say, does it say there Al Maududi? One second. It's not coming yet. Okay. Uh, Sayyid Abu Al Maududi. Yes. Okay. Go, go, go down to 551. Go to 51. Down all the way. Yeah. One second. 551. Hmm. Oh, I've gone a little too far. Uh, sorry, I'm not very good in these things. No problem. I use my phone. Okay, 551. Yeah, I got it there. Okay. Believers do not take the Jews and the Christians as your friends. They are one another's friends only if one any one of you takes them friends. I'm reading what uh, is saying on the laptop. Mm -hmm. Now I got the phone here with me in my hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. in that the female Quran. I have the female Quran. Mm -hmm. You believe it or not, it's up to you. Mm -hmm. um, in that uh, the translation is, says uh, the believers may not take the unbelievers for their allies in preference. On this one, mm -hmm. okay. Here it said, but it's okay. That doesn't make any difference. No problem. Mm -hmm. We take what they with the translation say here friends. Yes. Mm -hmm. So the word here uses olia. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay, Madudi say here is mean friends, hmm. but the word uses olia, which can also mean protector. Hmm. Yeah. And, and? So when when you ask me to quote you uh, uh, any scholar, hmm. I did quote you Madudi. Yes, hmm. and Madudi is talking about here friends here. Okay. But my question is this here: hmm. when Allah is telling us 
you can marry a Christian Jew and and a Christian uh, Jewish uh, mm. a Christian or Jew woman. Mm. How does it uh, make sense that they cannot be your friend, but you can marry them? Because Muhammad, it make, you, you are right with this question. It doesn't make sense, and this is very good. A question of you, Islam doesn't make sense anyway. Muhammad wanted mm. to spend spread Islam by having more babies, and now they capture a lot of women, and they want to have their babies. So this is for the benefit, because as you know, in Islam. If you have women and you have sex with her, the baby will be a Muslim, will not be a Christian. So it's a win-win for Muhammad. In the beginning of Islam, in the beginning of Muhammad, he said that you cannot marry uh, 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 a non-believer woman. So uh, Muhammad, he changed his mind because he found himself, he is losing uh, a lot of, by, 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 uh, by doing that, he lost a lot of members uh, to, to become part of uh, 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 Part of Islam or babies, and he need mm -hmm. that. Uh, so Muhammad, he changed his mind always, and this is one of the funny things about Muhammad, proving that he is uh, not a prophet. Because how come in one verse in the Quran uh, it says you cannot marry non-Muslim, and he forbid them from marrying non-Muslims, and then he make another verse in the Quran saying, "Well, you can marry a Muslim." So that the question would be good to ask for you. Mm -hmm. How you can okay. be? How you can be? How you how you can allow? How you forbid them uh, uh, from marrying non-Muslims in a verse, and then you allow them to marry non-Muslims in different verse? Do you have or, an answer? Or if it's if you take Quran as consistent, yeah, Quran is telling you you can marry Christian uh, women and Jewish women, mm -hmm. and this verse they are saying Aliya, which is supposed to be protector and our friends. No, my friend, because the Quran is not consistent. Because I just say to you, different verse in the Quran saying you cannot marry. You cannot marry. Yes. Okay, that is a contradiction. You know that, but show okay, me that. Thank person. you. Okay, guys, did you hear uh, this gentleman say this is a contradiction? All yes, right. I'm saying it. All right, thank you. Because I'm a, I'm a seeker of truth, yeah? My, my and friend, I believe my, it. My yeah, friend, I'm not okay, going to hide okay. behind it. Well, I, I, think believe, well, I, think I believe Quran my friend, has not a single contradiction. No problem. Okay? Well, That's uh, another topic, and no I'm problem, putting myself no in the problem, box, so you, no can, you, can, you can bring it to me. Okay. You no, know, Quran says you can My marry friend, hold on. Women. Hold your horses. Just you say yeah. this is a, will be a contradiction if we can prove it. Well, I thank you. Well, I thank you. Chapter 2, verse number 2 to 1. The mic is yours. Chapter 2, verse 2 to 1. Yeah. No problem. <clears throat> okay, here it says, Marry not the women who associate others with Allah in His divinity until they believe. For a believing slave girl is better okay. than a woman who associates others with Allah in His divinity, okay. even though she might please you. Likewise, do not give your women in marriage. To, okay, uh, let's say talk about is let's talk about the women first, yeah, because we're not talking about the men here. Mm. So I'm going to read again. Marry not the women who associate others with Allah in His divinity mm. until they believe. For a believing slave girl is better than a woman who associates others with uh, Allah in His divinity. He's talking about the comparison. He's not talking about period. He said for my friend. What comparison? It says don't marry and believe in women. Don't marry. Don't marry. Don't marry. Don't marry. Yeah. Yes. So you cannot marry. It's forbidden for you to but marry a woman. She is not a believing woman. Do you agree? I have to finish the whole verses, and you, because if you finish the verse, then you might understand what exactly it's saying. My friend, do you want us to go to Al Maudud, your favorite book? Are you going to go to interpretation? My friend, do you want me to go to Al Maudud, your favorite this book? Is this is Maududi I'm reading. Okay, you are reading Al Maududi. Yeah, yeah. In my okay, hold on. Let us go to Al Maududi. All right. Yeah. Okay. Let, I, let us see the interpretation the, of Al Maududi, my friend. Go. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. All right. Don't marry a mushrik woman unless they believe. Do you see it? Yes. Okay. Uh, sorry, I'm not on. Uh, this is Al Maududi. Did you put it? No. It's in the screen. No, in your screen is still chapter five verse. 51. Okay, let me let me give it to you in the in the chat. No problem. And you are the one. Remember, you are the one who said, "If this is true, this is a contradiction." Yeah, if if Quran one place says you can marry them, and the other place says you can't marry them, thank of you. Of course, it, it appears like a contradiction. Yeah, that's wonderful. 
Yes. And I believe Quran has not a single contradiction. Okay. Well, let us see. Just trying to see the context. I can't see still in the screen. Hello? I am here. I'm listening, my friend. I'm giving you time to talk and to read. Oh, oh I thought you, no, but there's nothing on the screen actually. I but gave you. I gave you the link. I get, I'm showing on the screen here. Don't marry a mushrik woman unless they believe a slave woman who believe is better than a free woman who does not believe. The mm -hmm. Quran is so clear, and you are the one who said, and everybody heard you. If one verse saying you can marry a mushrik woman, and one verse saying marry a mushrik woman. That is a clear contradiction. So ah, are you are you going okay. to keep are you going to keep your promise? Subhanallah. 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 Go ahead. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 you, you make when you say something, mm. it makes the word so clear for me. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Because here, um, my friend, my mm -hmm. friend, uh -huh. here the word used in Arabic is mushrikat. Ah. Mushrik over there uses ahli kitab. Ah. So when Allah say mushrik, Allah is not talking about ah. ahli kitab here. Uh, okay, so not but is, is, the, is the Christian Mushrikeen, my about, friend? Is the, the, is, the, and the, the well, let me say something. Okay, let, let me, let me something. ask you. Let, let me ask you. Is something. the Christians? Is the Christian Mushrikeen? I don't don't use my words for the Allah address them as Ahl Kitab. My friend, my friend, no, Ahl Kitab. Right. Listen, Ahl Kitab. In the time of Muhammad, you are the one who said to me before that. Oh, do you know that Muhammad here maybe is talking about people who exist before him? They will go to heaven. So now he's saying to you that people of the book. They are the one who say that the son of Allah is Uzair. Those are the Jews. And the son of Allah is Jesus. Are they mushrik based on this? Mm -hmm. did, Allah, did Allah call uh, uh, Ahl Kitab mushrik? Are you waiting for me to answer or not? No, no, no. But what I'm saying is... I will let you answer. Word... I will let you answer first. Okay. Look, can I let you... Can I allow you? I give you. Um, um, I allow you to read normally what you do, my friend. No, to, no, don't allow me. Don't, no, no, don't allow me. I want you to tell me: Is the Christians and the Jews mushrikeen? Yes or no? This this verse is not talking. My about friend, no. This, I'm asking you a direct question. About, I'm asking you a direct question. Be honest: Is the Christian and the Jews, according to your knowledge, according to Islam, are they are they mushrikeen? Uh, definitely, Jews are not. The Jews are not. Why? They're not. They don't do share. Why? Jews, uh, Jews don't do shirk. What shirk mean? Do you know? Jews, Jews believe is just in one God. They, do, they don't do shirk. So they don't. Anyone he say? Don't okay, let me ask you a question. Anyone says that Jews are mushrikeen? He is a stupid liar. Correct. If anybody says Jews are mushrikeen, uh, stupid liar, I wouldn't say that. Well, I, but I, I'm just saying that you prove me prove me wrong. No, why you don't say that? If you are if you are sure, are you sure or not? Is the Jews mushrikeen? Yes or no? Well, when I'm saying is I'm saying into my own limited knowledge. Prove okay, me wrong. here we go. The Quran, my friend, says that the Christians and the Jews, the Christian, they say that Jesus is the Son of Allah, and yeah? and, so the Jews, and the Jews and the Jews they say yeah. and the Jews they say, Uzair is the Son of Allah. So mm -hmm. are they mushrikeen or not? Okay, of course not. So if somebody says that uh, he, he have a Son of Allah, he's not mushrik. Yeah. Well, listen. Uh, Jews still believe many the son of uh, son of God. You know that Adam, David. <laughs> no, Adam, my friend, David, my friend. No, no. Listen, listen. No, no. It says the, the Jews, Jews, the Jews call Uzair the son of Allah, and the Christians call the the Christ the son of Allah. So this is what it's meant about naming a person. He is the only one is the son of Allah. This is what the Quran is saying. Who's the one? They take the rabbis and. Uh, which verse are you 930 or 9 chapter 9, 9 verse number 30 and yeah, then the even... Jews say Ezra is Allah's son and the Christians say the Messiah is the son of Allah hmm. these are merely verbal uh, assertions in imitation of the saints hmm. of those unbelievers who preceded them hmm. may Allah ruin them hmm. so okay son of Allah Jews say uh, Jews say many of son of Allah son hmm. of God hmm. so that doesn't mean they worship them really Jews never worship anybody. Okay, they, should we go? Never, to, should, never should we Jews go? Okay, thank you. You remind me of uh, of uh, Hijab when he said, "For four thousand year, 
4,000 years, not even a single Jew broke the command which is instructed them to worship one God. 4,000 years. So now you are confirming that your prophet is a liar. Thank you very much. Because this okay. verse, my friend, let us go to Al Maududi. Can we go to Al Maududi, your, your favorite friend? Which verse? Al Maududi, chapter 9, verse yeah. number 30. Okay, let us go okay. to Al Maududi. I like Al Maududi. Yeah, from, from now on, from now and from now on, okay, Al Maududi. The last hundred years, That's my friend. I like Al Maududi. I love Al Maududi. Let us see what Al Maududi is saying. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Mr. Al Maududi. Mm -hmm. But uh, can I say something, my friend? You? Don't forget, please, after you finish this, uh, you know, to download the video and post it in YouTube, your YouTube. Okay, uh, don't forget. Yeah, can, All right. Can I say something? Do you promise me? Do you promise me you will post it in your YouTube? My YouTube. Yes. I don't have a YouTube channel. You are a speaker corner, but you don't have a YouTube channel. I couldn't care less about the YouTube channel. Okay. Do because you promise me to open a phone. YouTube channel and and pause this video because this is a victory for you? Remember, the Jews they say, Ezra. By the way, it doesn't say Ezra. It says Uzziel is the son of Allah, and the Christians say the Messiah is the son of Allah. All right. Now, I want you to read for me the interpretation. What is what is the interpretation? Can I say before I was going to say something before? Yeah, go Can ahead. I say something. Go ahead. You never, you never allow me chance. Uh, when I started this conversation, I said to you, uh, Quran. I, I do not believe any commentary is infallible. You remember that I said that to you? Okay. Aren't you the one who yeah. chose for me the Al, -Al no, 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 no. I was not choosing any. You just asked me. Okay, choose, choose, choose one. Give me one, one, one. So I say, okay, I'll give you one. But what I said to you in the beginning. So now Al Maududi is bad person. Al Maududi is not good. I, okay, Al Maududi is not good. Okay, let's go to the Quran. Okay, okay, I'm no problem, no problem, I'm guys. Al Maududi is bad. He's a he's, he's a donkey. It. Okay, 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 no problem. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Okay, does it say there? Does it say there? The very beginning, I said, my friend, the commentaries are not infallible. Okay, no problem. Let us see. What that means? Okay, I want you to explain the Quran for me. It says it says they worship, they associate with him. Do you see that? In the Quran, not not the interpretation, they associate with Allah. Does it say that? Uh, this Messiah, the Son of Allah. These are merely verbal assertions in imitation of saying of the those who unbelievers who preceded them. Hmm. It doesn't say that. It says here in front of me they associate with Him. The Quran says that. Chapter nine, verse thirty. What's the Arabic of that? No, not 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 thirty only. You have to read the verses after it. Read with me. You see here. Uh, actually, even even here, even here it says. Uh, read verse 30. Uh, okay, uh, read if you if you go if you continue reading the verse after it, verse number 31 says, okay. They take their priest and their uh, 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 rabbis as their Lord in their regression of Allah, and they've been but yet they were command to worship Allah alone. And he and he, you know, he's saying, Praise and glory for him, for he is. Uh, Etc. That uh, you cannot have a, wor a worship or partner with him. So the verse is accusing them that they are taking partner and association with Allah. So they are mushrikeen. No, you're wrong. No. Okay. Let me get you. Buster. you okay. Hold on. That's, that's fine. Let me. Let me. Allow me to 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 get you. Uh, 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 I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not insulting. I'm just. No, no. It's no a, you can. It's a you word. can. I don't take it as insult. Yeah, I don't this okay. is your habit. That's no uh, problem. You uh, can say it. You know what? In speakers corner, people say worse things than that. Trust me. Okay. I'm, I'm I'm not concerned about me. What I'm concerned is when you you say bad things about the Prophet and Allah. That's what I'm more concerned about. You can say whatever names you want to say. I have a, quite a thick skin. Trust me. Okay. No problem. But, but if I was asking you a question just for the sake of fun. I I are you, are you slave? Are you Abdul? No, I'm not. Thank God. I'm so can I call you Abdul Filan Kar? I am not. How you can call me that? I am not a Muslim, my friend. No, Abdul who's in denial. Is that what Abdul Filan Kar? Can I call you that? Abdul what? Abdul Fil Inkar, the I, one who's denied. I, ne I never heard of such an Arabic before. Your Arabic is wonderful. Oh, what okay. is that? Okay, I thought he said the Abdul who's in denial. So, okay, maybe I'm wrong. No, no, my friend yeah. Abdul, Abdul is somebody he considers himself a slave of Allah. All right? Okay. I do let's, consider myself. Okay, let us see. Let us see. Right. The Quran says, لَقَدْ كَفَرَ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا أَنَّ الْمَسِيحُ هُوَ اللَّهُ Those who say the Messiah is Allah, they are kuffar. What words you read? Explain to me how that happened. If you are not mushrikeen according to you. What words did you read? Oh, hold on. I just want to see the words what you're reading. 
but I just this one uh, verse uh, what you right. quoted earlier about you cannot marry mushikeen. I'm sorry, you were wrong. It was not Ali Kitab. It was talking about the pagan mushik. And if you read any commentary, mm -hmm. I'm sitting here right now. I'm not. I'm. I'm just saying it openly. Read that. Uh, that the, the, you cannot marry mushik women. That's not talking about the Jews and the Christians. I can assure you. Even you open Ibn Abbas if you want to. Okay. Do you uh, do you like us to go to any interpretation you wish? To, yeah, yeah. to assure no, me. Me wish. Me wish. You wish. No, you no, wish. I you want wish. you to. I want you to repeat, pick up any interpretation. Okay. Actually, normally you like Ibn Abbas, don't you? You okay. pick up Ibn Abbas and tell me about it. Says you cannot marry mushrik women. It is talking about Jews and Christians. Even okay. I let you read that interpretation. Normally, I say I'm skeptical about interpretation. No Let's problem. Okay. Interpretation. okay. Hold on. Hold Any on. interpretation. No problem. Here this is go. my confidence on that. That is not talking about Jews and Christians. Okay. No problem. <clears throat> and I told you that that will be a contradiction, and I, I I'm not shy of that. Because I'm a believer in the Quran, Quran says there's no contradiction in it, and I believe in it 100%. No problem. So that's why, uh, that's why I say openly yes, but that is not a contradiction. That's talking about Mushrikeen. No problem. The other was talking about Ahli Kitab. It's no different. problem, my friend. Give me a second. This eh, website sometime. Can you tell me which words we're looking for? Hold on, hold on. No, I do not need you to help me. It's in the front. No, no, no. Me. I didn't ask you. I say what words we're looking for. I just want to see so I can prepare myself. For who you well, you are the one who asked me to read it, right? I mean, you do not know what verse. Chapter 9, verse 31. Okay. Is it? You are the one who's asking me. You do not know what I'm talking about, my friend. Um, chapter, I think, 328, you said. Chapter 2, verse number 2 to 1. And you okay. said you said any interpretation it's fine for you, right? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> You're trying your best to find the interpretation which agrees with you. No, I just I, 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 I you see you see uh, my friend, we're not kids. I just ask you which one you want and I will show it to you, you know. Let's see what Ibn Abbas is that you like. What that. about Al Maududi? Don't you want Al Maududi no more? <laughs> You don't want. You don't want. You don't want. You don't want Modudi. We can go, go to. Okay. okay. Yeah. Commentary of Modudi. I have it with me. You want me to read it? All right. Here we go. Let us go to Modudi. As long as yeah. you like Modudi. Go. Go ahead. Read. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Chapter two, verse two twenty one, and uh -huh. uh, the commentary of that is: This is the reason for and the wisdom underlying the injunction mentioned above prohibiting marriage links with polytheists. Mm -hmm. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Who, who is the policy? Yes. Christians and Jews are not polities. Not according to the they are not? spirit. Okay. Not according to the spirit of the Quran. Quran called them Ahli Kitab. Polities are those Arab pagans. Okay. They were the polities. Okay. That's wonderful. Marriage does not consist merely of sexual relations hmm. between a man so and a So believing believing in the Trinity will not make you polytheist, right? Oh, I say how Quran address Quran. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. If Quran I believe, them in the if groups. I believe in the Quran Trinity, in the groups. I, if I believe in the Trinity, does it make me a person who believe in Tawheed or a person who believe in polythe a, a polytheist? Uh, well, I'm going to even give you better what you like me to say. I'm going to give you what you actually like me to say. You are doing a shirk. Thank you very much. So here yeah. the verse saying, the verse saying, let them come mushrikat. But what did I say earlier? Quran put uh, <laughs> a, a, a different boxes of people. What boxes? Are, you just said the Christians are mushrikeen. The verse in the front you, of I'm me, you, you just Quran, said, you just said, you Quran just said. Did not say, Quran did not address them that. Quran addressed them as Ali uh, Kitab. Are you sure? Yes. Mm. Quran addressed them as Ali Kitab. Mary, okay. Okay, anyway, I was reading the commentary. Did you, you didn't like the commentary? It says polytheists. My friend, say Jews and Christians? my friend, so if, now I need to show you in the Quran where it says we are kuffar, right? No, 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 no. You need to show me the verse. Okay, what kuffar mean? What kuffar mean? Does kuffar mean? Does go does kuffar mean polytheist? Does kuffar mean that we are polytheist? Yes or no? I ask and no answer. Me don't don't look. No, 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 no. Do you do you do you do you agree or you didn't agree that? That that the 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 word polytheist 
is fit with the Christians in Islam yes or no according to the Quran Christians are not polytheists okay so okay. if I so if I show you a verse if I show you a verse now yeah uh, remember everything with the context yeah right sure no problem talking about again and again in this commentary about the police no problem never say no, Christians and no Jews. problem no problem no problem hmm. okay let us see if the Quran okay first first thing first okay let us go let us go no no, no CP yeah. first thing first hold on, hold on. you go to chapter write, five go to chapter uh, CP, five CP, go to chapter CP, five CP, it doesn't work like that CP, no it worked well, like that let us go we have to we have to clarify let, one thing for sure for ah you, you see you receive you, a did you receive a text from somebody and this is why you rushed now you want to try to fix it for me no. Yeah, so what you just say no. that if I believe if I believe in the Trinity, that will not make me mushrik. Everybody I'm heard keep, you. I'm keep telling you something. You, you just are, say it, everybody you heard are, you. If you I if I believe the Trinity, that will not make me a mushrik. You said that, you yes are, or no? You are mixing a lot of my things. friend. Let's did let's you okay here read with me? This is Al Maududi. This is the problem. This is Al Maududi. You this is Al Maududi. It's almost certainly, most certainly they committed the blasphemy. Listen, listen, you because see, you see everything. Abdul, Ab hold on. You are the one who asked me for Al Maududi. This is it. This is the oh, chapter five. Right to say my opinion. This I is a right chapter. To... Okay, go. Don't 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 call me again, please. Let your dad call me. I'm done with you. I gave you a chance. To prove yourself and obviously you are all over the place you remind me of a person he turned on the fan and he have a dish full of poopoo diarrhea poopoo and he was in the hospital and you are a speaker corner and you are calling me to get me busted. Okay, I, guys, I, I need to go to the hospital. Seriously, I got busted. I mean, really, really, look at my nose, man. I, I don't have a nose no more. It's like, became like a big zucchini. The Christians are not mushrikin Islam. But because he said, if this verse saying that, that you can marry from them, and this verse you cannot marry from them that's mean it's a contradiction he admit he's out of islam hey my brother hey cp how are you my friend man you get busted unbelievable <laughs> it was a career end my friend yes yes career end career end. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um yeah i i've seen that guy in videos before i think i pretty sure i recognize his voice um he, I don't know, I can't recall his name, but I recognize his voice. Um, he debates her tune uh, quite a bit, and he normally comes off as a as a nice guy. So, uh, but you know what? What's nice guy got to do with the truth? You know, I'm not against him as a person. I do not know him. You know, he might be a, a, a nice person. I don't know him. You know, I'm I'm not. But here, or here, we cannot tolerate lies and playing games. And he is all over the place you know he, i feel sorry for him because he is jumping from place to place trying to save himself it's like somebody he enter a place or a ground where the holy ground is you know covered by fire or let us say a kind of burning uh, barbecue stuff in the top of a barbecue and he's trying to save himself by jumping over the barbecue uh, uh, circle you know but he is he's burning himself wherever he go he tried to fix it he makes the blind Oh yeah, yeah. Well, you well, know, again, belief system based on lies and tradition. That that actually dovetails with uh, a couple of the things I wanted to comment on. Um, some uh, the other call, the Christian call. I think his name was Simon. Yeah. He was asking, you know, well, you know, knowing what we know about Islam, what do we do? How do we, how do we see it? Um, I wanted to comment on that. Um, All right. Uh, CP, you ever heard the story of the Trojan horse? The Trojan horse, the Trojan horse, yeah. The Troy, the story of Troy, right? Right. Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, if you, anybody doesn't know, it, that's a ancient story from the Odyssey, ancient Greek story. Basically, you had uh, the rest of all of Greece at war with Troy, and they besieged Troy for like ten years, and 
right before they were about to give up, they pretended to leave and they left the Greeks a big wooden horse, giant horse, as allegedly a gift. Uh, the Trojans thought they had won and they brought the gift into their city walls, but there were Greek soldiers hidden inside. So at night, after they brought the horse into the city walls, the soldiers snuck out of the horse and then they opened up the gates and then they let the armies come in. That's basically what Islam is. Yeah. See, people like this guy, um, is it Abbas? Is that his name? Abbas, yeah. Yeah. No, I don't think Abbas is, is deliberately lying, at least not for the most part. Uh, Sometimes when you pin most, when you pin them down, no, I think may, I think, slip, I, I think there's a there's a good decent part of him, but he yeah, is yeah. struggling. He's struggling. You know the, the reason right, call right. Me, how he can prove to himself that he is really following the true path, and this guy is saying things which is a challenging. So he can't be right. I'm going to get him busted. Right, and he has to he has to go through all these avenues to try to validate what he believes in yeah. um, before he learns that you know that there's no way to validate them. But that said. People like him, see, he believes what he says, I think. But his view of Islam doesn't hold up. See, so you let people like him come in, he's Muslim and such, and then they, uh, if they convince other people to be Muslim and such, believing as he believes, well, just like he can't defend his view of Islam from someone who knows the Quran and the Hadith and Islamic traditions like you do, he couldn't defend that against someone who knows the Islamic traditions and such, like from ISIS. See, he, he couldn't defend that, you know, because just like you can speak the Arabic and expose all the stuff, the guy from ISIS can do that too. And the problem is, it really does say you can't take Jews and Christians as friends and such. You know, it really says that. It really says kill them where you find them. It really says that. So when they're in a minority, you know, nice guys like this, he can prevail because Islam is not governing. You know, you have secular government or some sort of Christian government or some sort of hybrid in between the two, which is what you got now. It's, it's a secular government based on Christian ideals. But it, anyway, once you have a critical mass of Muslims, and they want to do some jihad or something like that. And this nice guy tries to come along and say, hey man, you, you can't do that. You know, we gotta be, we can be friends with Christians and they're gonna ask him, where did you get that from? And he's not gonna have a leg to stand on. He's gonna expose, he's go they're gonna lose all the moral arguments, you know? And so you end up with, with Pakistan or something like that. You know, the true Islam comes out because there is no moral argument on the other side to, to, to push back against, it, you know. Um, so I know Simon was asking, how do you address it? That's, that's what we're dealing with. And if you look at the historical map, you know, the spread of Islam, you can see the remnants of that all around. You can you know? see what happened to Cyprus. <laughs> you can see what happened to Lebanon. You know, the, yes. the Muslims, they used to be a small part there, and then now they are taking trying to take over Cyprus and they, they're trying to take over Lebanon and this is what they do yeah. you know they yeah, go and, to a place and they try to take over it and it's not their fault I don't blame them yeah, and, and further east uh, is it not Bangladesh the, like the, the Rohingya I think yeah further east you know it, it's it, you see the same thing over and over again you see it in sub Saharan Africa it's the same thing small in number peaceful get along when they have larger numbers, they make ruckus. And there's a verse in the Quran, 4735, that tells them to do just that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it, cry, it says cry it not plainly. for peace. Cry not for peace when you are the uppermost. Yeah. When you are the uppermost. So yeah. when you're in the minority and you can't win, yeah. be, be peaceful. Peaceful, Get along. nice, kind. Lie, it yeah. Says. yeah. <laughs> Same as you Muhammad, know. the Christian, the Jews, the, the Sabian, they will, everybody will go to heaven, don't worry. Yeah, you know, but when you're the uppermost, you know, and you can be, you know, a, a honest, uh, a Muslim who actually has a peaceful theology comes along and says, well, we should be peaceful. Man, where you get that from? Show me. Where are these Quran verses you got? You know, prove it. Yeah. And you find that they can't prove it. 
which um, something else he said that I wanted to comment on, which is which is when I heard it, that was when I sent a request to call in. Um, you were on him about, I think it was 551. Don't take, uh, they can't take the Jews and the Christians as friends, uh, which it's, it says, I think the same thing in 328 as well. But at this time, I think it was 551. And then he he went to verse 55 and claimed that he had you busted. He, <laughs> Um, this is what, what this is one thing I hate about what I do. I get busted every day. I get busted every day. Amazing. <laughs> so, um, five fifty one. It says, "Well, his his point was, you know, we can marry. You know, it, it tells them what is it? This day, everything is. I wrote it down. Where did I put it? This day, uh, everything is lawful from the people of the book. Their food is lawful for you, and your food is lawful for them." And basically, you can marry Christian and Jewish woman. Okay. Well, if you can't, for those people listening, if you can't tell from my voice, I'm black. And if you can't tell from my accent, I'm African American. Okay. So you know, all the time, I, all the uh, time, I thought you are like me. You're black, blonde, African American from Japan. <laughs> I mean, that's, no. I'm really disappointed now. <laughs> <laughs> black, blonde, African American from America. What? <laughs> Um, probably closer to subjugation than most people that's listening. Um, that the verse where it says, you know, we can marry their women. Therefore, his verse will say, well, if we can't take them as friends, how can it tell us we can marry them? Does it mean you can marry your enemy? You know, he, he basically assumed that it was baked in the cake that permission to marry women was the same as that meant that you had to be friends, that you could be friends with them. Uh, well, that is not the case at all. You can most definitely marry women from your enemy. You know, very much so. What you've got there is is an act of subjugation, you know, uh, and that is not, <laughs> that is not in, uh, our distant past that all oh, I could tell stories which I won't do. Um, but I could tell stories from like grandparents and people in that generation, which is not that far ago. Um, to sum it up, to sum it up in Jim Crow apartheid South, the basic situation was, you know, white guy, he could go with whatever black woman uh, he wished with impunity from the law and what have what have you. But if black guy went with white woman or i said went with her. he didn't really have to actually go with her then they would go know. crazy right yeah they go crazy they want to mention and such that's like that. exactly what happened in islam yeah yeah which is that's exactly what the verse is saying see if he wants to say that if he wants to prove that hey we can be friends with jews and christians show me a verse that says that a muslim woman can marry a christian man show me that where it says that explicitly Show me a Muslim woman getting permission to marry a Jew or what have you. See, then is back. Then you can argue some parody. Now, hey, <laughs> I've never heard of such uh, such a verse. If, he, if he's got one, <laughs> hey, hey, please call up and show me this new verse. <laughs> this new Quran verse. I, I like to read it. You know. Yeah. But uh, no, it, it, it just... I wanted to point that out there to him, you know, you have to look at it both ways, you know, to say that you can marry from my women, but I can't marry from your women. Uh, that's not an act of friendship at all. Right. That's an act of subjugation. Not only you know? Mary, I mean, Mary is uh, is even uh, uh, far away from the fact. It's not Mary. They are kidnapping them. And then the woman, she, what, who, who she is to, is to say yes or no, you know? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. It's not like a Let's... woman you go and ask for her hand and she agree to marry you. You know, we are talking about kidnapping women, like uh, as an example, Sophia, which mm -hmm. Muhammad later he made her as his wife. But first he raped her, he killed her father, he killed her her her, her husband, mm -hmm. he killed her brother, he slaughtered her, and he and even they forced her to walk over between the bodies of the of the dead men of her family, and then the Kalbi he took her, he raped her, and then Muhammad he heard that this is the daughter of the chief and she is very beautiful. 
so he asked the hill calibre to exchange her for other uh, uh, slaves so we're not talking about a man he's going to there and say hey I want to marry you would you like accept me you know uh, yeah. like, as an example there is a story of Muhammad when he became victorious he went to a woman and he said to her give me yourself he did not say Mary, look, look how, how filthy he is he did not say let me marry you he said give me yourself which means take off your panty all right okay. so the woman she said uh, uh, and this is a very famous word uh, to, to remember uh, and how a woman like me can give herself to a suka suka like you know when you say trashy trash okay you know she said that to him in front of his face which means she is she's doing that to die she want to die you know what i mean oh because because when you say imagine i am i am in front of muhammad and this guy he have his army and he's victorious and i say to him muhammad you are a trashy person what what is next you know what is next yeah. you know so she is asking for her death but she said i seek refuge by allah from you and now muhammad it's very embarrassing for him he claimed to be a prophet of god and yet the women she seek refuge by the god he claimed that he is presenting so he acted smart he said okay if i kill her they will say she asked refuge by allah and then that's not right so what i will do he told them let her go send her away all right but okay. the women she said clearly and imagine what kind of a prophet he come to a woman imagine i come to a woman and i say to her let me excuse my language let me if you he did not even marry her he, he don't he don't want to marry her he want to if her yeah yeah and then he yeah. did and by the way he, he you know like uh he, he wanted to beat her and then she said i seek refuge by allah from you that is the truth okay. about about what they claim they, they try to make it as if it's like we marry from you we are friends here we go we are family my friend and this is why i warn anyone you cannot marry from a muslim if you marry a muslim you are making a big mistake muslim or a muslim girl doesn't matter it's a big big mm -hmm. mistake because later let us say this person he don't he's not a believer he's a muslim by name but mm -hmm. what is guaranteed that tomorrow he will go to the mosque with his friends and he will start acting and learning islam yeah and then he, he will say okay i have the right to marry four women and then i have the right to make my children muslims you cannot stop him from doing that you know and i have the right actually even you see a muslim woman uh, uh, i know a guy uh, actually they took me to talk to him in person you know uh, he was sleeping with the muslim girl all right okay. and then she said to him well, I cannot stop. I cannot continue sleeping with you because it's haram. I can sleep only with Muslims. And this guy is, is young. You know, he like her. She is good looking. You know, she, she's very pretty woman. He want to sleep with her. So he said, what I should do? He said, if you want, we can go tomorrow to the student association in the university. Both of them, they are student university. And you uh, announce yourself to be a Muslim. Take Shahada. And then he said, so after that, we are okay. She said, yeah. I said okay we can go and have sex together again he said sure so i went to talk to him and i he, he refused to tell us why really he want to convert to islam in the beginning and then okay. you know i talked to him he refused to kill his family but when i sat with him i start asking him why really what like what, what do you know about islam he said i know nothing i said so why you want to convert to islam if you know nothing he said i don't care for islam I said, so what do you care for why you want to convert he said well don't tell my family okay i said okay i have a friend she is my girlfriend and we are sleeping together for more than two years now and now suddenly she said to me you cannot do it no more unless you are you convert to islam so he said to her uh, so you are saying it's forbidden for you to sleep with me if i am not a muslim she said yes he said okay why you didn't me before why you slept with me before she said because before nobody told me that this is haram now i've been taught so if you want to have sex with me more you have to convert to islam so the guy he said i said so do she do she want you to marry to marry her he said no no she said she will sleep with me but i have to say shahada and i don't want to lose her really i'm attached to her I said so if you if this girl you convert to islam today and she leave you tomorrow you will leave islam he said yes so do you know that if you convert to islam they will kill you if you try to leave 
So I start talking to him, etc. But look, look how evil it, it, the situation is. She's trying to take advantage of this boy who became attached to her in order to make him, you know, uh, uh, you want to get, you want to, you want to go with me in the bed? Well, you have to say shahada. There's a price to pay. And this is exactly what the devil is about. So if it's a girl or a boy, it's still at the end, they are going to make you convert to the religion and they use sexual relationship or what you call it, even marriage, because a yeah. Christian, when he marry from a Muslim, this is not considered as marriage in Christianity. Unless say that, say that again, CP. When yeah. a Christian, when a Christian he marry, mm -hmm. someone is not a Christian, that is not marriage. That is a sexual relationship. Marriage only between two believers. Only if you are a person who used to be not a Christian and you married before you became a Christian to a woman she is not a Christian that is is accepted because God don't want you to destroy your family all right but you don't go you don't go and marry a woman she is not a believer you don't go and marry a man he is not a believer because darkness and 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 and, and light cannot be under one roof you know there's a big confusion yeah. will happen, big destruction, and it's wrong. Yeah, well, yeah, that, that'll, that'll make a mess. In which now, the young man in your story, I, I don't know how it turned out, but uh, if he converted, she was going to ask him to to, <laughs> to pressure him to marry her next. <laughs> yeah, see, uh, <laughs> that was coming. Maybe, maybe it's uh, maybe she. That's what you do. She sleep around, and it's, it's doing she is doing jihad. You know, so. But anyway, the guy, he did not convert to Islam. But he is not a believer anyway. I mean, he is not a Christian. I just try to help him, feeling sorry yeah. for him. He is just under the influence of sex, you know? Right, right, right. And then, and then when I, I went to his room, you know, like uh, I said, uh, when I start talking to him, uh, his family came. In the beginning, his uncle brought me to his house. Uh, the uncle did not get in. He said, you want to talk, you know, can you talk to you, you know? And he knew me from before. So I went inside his house. But then his, his some of his family came, so we went to his room, and you should see the picture of the Muslim women in his wall. He have big pictures of her naked, totally naked, you know. <laughs> and he said, "Who? Why, why you have those pictures?" He said, "Oh, this is my, this is her. This is her, <laughs> you know." So she is totally naked, wearing no clothes, and suddenly she is talking about halal and haram, and she said, "So do she come here and visit you in your family?" He said, "Yeah, she sleep here. Mister, where here?" Huh? He said, "Yeah, she sleep here in my in my room." Said now she's still with you. She said, "Yeah, he's she's here. You know, she will come later. She's cool now. She's moving with him. She live with him. <laughs> you know. So and okay. I said, and, and, and I I told you know she, he told her family, his family that uh, in the beginning his family did not like her to move in, but he said I'm not going to go to school unless you allowed her to be with me. So he's like forcing his family to accept her to be with them. So she is having free accommodation, free housing, free food." He take her to school. He bring her from school. He have her naked picture in the wall, and suddenly she is a woman who is a, 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 a person of dignity and believe in God, and she want him to say shahada. Yeah, well, yeah, she, yeah, she want. Well, she wants him to marry her. That's what time it was. <laughs> That's what that said. She been sleeping with the guy for two years, and yeah. then all of a sudden she can't do it unless he's a Muslim. But then even after he converts to Islam, See, it, she's still not going to want him to marry her. This, this is why there's many people they don't care. Many many people they don't care. They will say shahada. I mean, he want to have the women. He will say shahada. So what do we do? Okay, she shahada. You know, I want to have the women. Okay. Okay, what do you want shahada? Let me say it. You know, Because he don't have religion. He don't have anything. So, okay. Okay. Uh, what, what shahada? If, is that will make you take off your panty? You know? Yeah. Okay. No problem. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But at the same time, like I said, once... Once they're in Islam and, the, and then they decide to be pious and try to study and then try to learn some stuff, the behavior changes. You know, behavior changes. It's, well, it's a Trojan horse, pure and simple. You know, how else can you say it? Yeah. So, but CP, I, I believe that's all I had. I just, when I heard that, um, I, wanted to, I wanted to put that out there on the air uh, for actually for the sake of this, this guy, you know. Because he, he seems to say this kind of thing in good nature, but it's it's the op it's the opposite. I mean, that, that it's not friendly in the in the slightest, you know. And it's pretty much common knowledge that like 
with Muslim people, if you try to marry their daughters, they want you to convert to Islam anyway. Yeah. Is, isn't that common? Yeah. Well, this is, uh, I mean, the, 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 you learn more and more from stories. Uh, and many of them are stupid stories. People don't care. People just want to get, uh, have sex, free food. You know? Yeah, they're, they're ignorant. Yeah. <laughs> but that still makes a problem for the rest of us, you know, because they make mistakes and, you this know, what make, what, this is what make my heart, my life harder, because the first thing I face when I do what I do is ignorance. Mm -hmm. Even Christians, they, they attack me, you know, because of their ignorance. They say to you, you are not being a loving Christian when you do this way. I mean, why you are doing that? You know, they even they insult you. You know, they say to you, you're not being Christian by doing that. Did you call this guy stupid? You see, the Bible says the one who don't believe in the true God is stupid. What's wrong with that? So the, the, the problem is... You try to save their kids okay they don't want you to be around because simply you are not being good a Christian but when something wrong happened they call me please save our child His family <laughs> the family of this guy they don't like me because of what I do you believe it but right oh. away when this happened to their child they called the father he called his 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 his, uh, his uh, brother-in-law he said, please, can you call your friend, the guy who, you know, maybe he can. You know. Right away, I am I am the one who will save their son. But always, I am not a person they like because of what I do. But when his, their son is going to convert to Islam, suddenly, CP, please, CP, you know. And then his mother, <laughs> she want to give me a gift. And his father, please, I name anything you want. I said, no, don't, not, I'm not here for, I'm not here to for you or for her. I'm here to do what is right. They said, no, anything, just name a gift. You save our son. I said, I save no one. Just thank you very much. Take care. You know, so <laughs> yeah. they make fun of you for doing what you are doing, but they will they will re remember you. It's like it's like you know, uh, like carrying a gun. I, I, yeah, like the, the story of the carrying the gun is the same story. But I mean, it's like somebody want to teach you how to swim and say to you, "There's a flood of Noah is coming." You know, so they remember Noah only when the flood come, but nobody want to believe Noah that the flood is coming. Yeah. They wait until the flood come, and then it's too late. And this is why I encourage people here to, to, to share the knowledge about Islam with their children. Don't wait. They go to school. They, they meet others. People, they fool them. Even those who they are called liberals, they are spreading Islam. You will see an actor saying Islam is a peaceful religion. You yeah. know? Actors, they are promoting Islam. So uh, 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 we have to be vigilant and have we have to be careful and your child is going to be exposed to many bad things in life If you don't talk about it somebody else will talk about it and they will talk about it in the wrong way You know what I mean if you yes. don't if you don't tell your children now Like if you don't tell your children there is something that's called AIDS Well your, your son might get AIDS If you don't tell yeah. your son that there is there is a, a drugs will destroy you will drugs will destroy him because nobody told him he's a kid if somebody give him something to try he became addicted so you have to speak about what is dangerous otherwise dangerous is there it, if you don't speak about it doesn't mean it's, it's gone yeah you, you have to arm them with these things you know if, if you don't like you said well just what you just said if you don't arm them with the knowledge of these things then when they get out there and they get exposed to it for the first time it's easy for them to fall into the trap Doris, let me, let me, let me tell you this. Once I saw a post in YouTube, someone like there, like there's a video of you know a video of mine, but it's not my channel. You know, many people post my videos, yes. so I was looking at the at the at the comments, and I saw uh, someone posting uh, like sound like a like like a like young very young kid because the text like ha 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 your God is a leg you know, so I click at the at the page of this guy in YouTube. I found he's not even like maybe nine, ten years old. <laughs> you know, so imagine now a nine years old can get a Abdul busted because what, what what we do. A nine years old, he said to him, "You worship a man." The Muslim, he said to him, "The guy who's talking to the kid, he don't know he's a kid." You know, he's saying to him, "You worship a man." The Christian boy, he said to him, "Ha ha ha ha, you worship a leg. Allah is a leg. Ha ha ha." You know, I click at his page to see why he's talking like this. I mean, it's very childless. And he's a kid. He's just a kid, you know. He, he's literally a kid. He have like games for cartoon in his uh, YouTube channel. He have a video of him how to play this game. So the same kid, like he's there, and he is just a kid saying to the to the, the adult Muslim, "Your God is a leg." So 
<laughs> because of what we do, this child cannot be deceived. You know, like we gave him the flu shot. <laughs> Your God is a leg. <laughs> I was saying, what kind of a Christian is Christian? Why is he talking like this? He's like like a little boy, but he was a little boy. You know. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a good one. Yeah, you know, when I start talking about Islam, I'm not exaggerating. There's nobody knows anything. You see, what what we did, I, would, I say we because I believe that my work was not only me. I mean, people who helped me to spread the truth, etc. It was a revolution. Most of those who speak against Islam right now are people who learned from the first generation who exposed Islam. And the first generation is us since the internet started. Before that, nobody knows what Islam is about. Yeah. This is why did that. He was looked like he is victorious. Why? Because at that moment, the that was debating people who know zero about Islam. Yeah. He go to debate okay. you. He's not debating Islam. He's debating Christianity. So it's one okay. side debate. When you okay. debate only, you know, imagine I go to a debate and only I can throw rocks at you. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then how we can how we can uh, how we can uh, have a debate if the debate is only you attacking my Bible? This is why did that? He looked like he was so smart, and the other guy he looked like he's a fool. He's because it's office, one yeah. one sided debate. When a Muslim he call me right now, I get him busted in two seconds because I'm using. I have knowledge of his religion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have knowledge of the Quran, which, well, it's it just cannot be defended. You know, uh, I remember when I first started looking at this stuff, which I, mean, I guess I've been following you now for what two years, one or three years now. Well, um, go fast. <laughs> go fast. Yeah. First but, time um, I talked to you, I used to have four wives. Now I have six. I don't know. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, um, you know, when I first started, the thing that, that struck me Christians are so eager to go on defense, you know, and and it is possible for a Christian to stay on defense of the Bible and Jesus and such like that and still win technically on points because the Bible Christianity can be defended. Whereas when you see the reverse, if you ever see a Muslim go on defense of the Quran, it's like a horrible, horrible defeat, you know, because Islam just it cannot be defended at all, you know, and it just it's just not a defendable position. But I can see your point about D dot because I've seen those clips look like they were what the the eighties was it when he was debating. Because they, they had those suits in the church with the big collars that they would wear, you know, on top of the jacket. Yeah. You know, it seemed like the 80s. So you didn't have any internet and things like that. Um, I remember in my lead up, back before I made a conscious decision to study Islam, you know, and before I found like your channel and Shimon and Wooden and Shabir Ali and all those stuff, you know, all the stuff that I look at. Um, I read an article in the USA Today, and the guy was talking about the changes in Islam. And he said, well, when I was a kid, you know, you had to walk for like, you say 30 minutes, 30, 40 minutes to get an Islamic, to an Islamic law library. You know, because simply like the Hadith collections and things like that, you just you didn't have them. You couldn't read it. They were only at a law library and you had to. It, it was hard to get there. It, it just, it wasn't readily available, you know. So I saw that and I speculated and I guess I'll ask you for confirmation in a second. But it seems like what we have is a lot of people who are simply ignorant of their religion, more so than what we even see in the West, I guess I should say, because they just don't have access to the books and things like that. And tradition just fills in. Um, would you say that's an accurate assessment? Well, you know, uh, I, I believe everything, everything in this world is based in individuals. 
Mm-hmm. And uh, you see, even or even for us as a Christians, when we look at God, we see him as we, we have a relationship with God, right? Right. It's not like a format and that's it. So every one of us have his own relationship. And that I think I believe the best way to to look at anything in life, to look at it as an individual look, not as a general look. Everyone he have his own vision, his own way to deal with things, even with the problems, even with happiness. Like when you when you get happy, you do something. When somebody else he gets happy, he do something else. There's some people when they get happy, they cry. Correct? Yeah. But why are you crying? I'm ha- I'm happy. Okay. I got you. So he's a kind who cry when he is happy. So I don't want to generalize things and I don't want to give an opinion about things should be in, done in a certain way. And this is why when I deal with Muslims, each one of them for me is different. Each one of them is unique. <coughs> but all of them for me, I know that because they are Muslims, they would do their best to me to lie, to lie to me. But not necessarily every Muslim will call me, he is going to lie. Hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we don't generalize, generalize rules and we say this is the best way to do it. I don't know if my answer have a, uh, the connection you want with your with your question. Um, no, <laughs> no, not really. Um, <laughs> I was, um, basically, I was. Well, I, I was remarking on the level of knowledge of it. You know. Yeah, but the, no, the knowledge, my friend, the knowledge is not about just knowing a knowledge. It's about not and acknowledging the person you are speaking to. Okay. As an example, when I talk to children, I don't talk to them based on my knowledge. I speak to them based on their knowledge. Otherwise, okay. I will not be able to reach out to the person I'm speaking to. You know okay. what I mean? You can rephrase your mm-hmm. question if I did not give you the, the answer you want. I don't know. Yeah, well, well, basically, I, I was going for the, the general level of knowledge of, of the most that we come across. How much do they know? There's you nothing, know? nothing, nothing is called how much. The more you can know, the better. I mean, this, 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 the process of knowing is endless. Until now, I am a student. I'm learning. You know, the second you think, the second, the second you think you know, you know it all. It's mean you believe you are God. Yeah. Well, but well, but the question is, do they know? Because, like I said, it seems like you know, with Muslims, they're always they so readily dismiss their scripture, you know. A Muslim it's person, like they've never seen it before at all. <laughs> you see, I just so told you, you have to examine every Muslim when he speak to you to, to you about, uh, so you can understand his knowledge, because the knowledge of Islam is not exist. There is there is their own understanding, and there is the scholars understanding because Muhammad is not even in Islam. If you go and read, like now this guy when I showed him a verse in the Quran says this, the verse in the Quran says that. The only way to explain it is to find a way to get away from the contradiction. But this guy, he he said fast, okay, this must be a contradiction. Then if it is true, show me. He challenged me. But if he is a person who have knowledge, he will not say that because that will get his, his religion busted. Because, but because he do not know what is going to show him, he, he was sure there's no way it's going to be there in a different place. You can marry women who they are uh, not Christians. You know, you cannot marry a, a woman who they are Christians. So... He, he jumped into a conclusion based on his knowledge that the Quran does not have contradiction and based on that I'm going to challenge him so you need to you need this is why when I debate Muslims I don't debate them I play the the, the game of uh, you know the cat you, you put a rope in the front of it you know and the cat chased the rope just put a rope in the front of the cat she love it you know yeah yeah but, but that's kind of what I mean like like this guy you know they seem so confident that these types of contradictions are not in it. This is the, con- conf- this is the confidence it, of stupidity. It's so obvious. This is the confidence of, of, uh, of ignorance, you know, because when you are ignorant too, the same as Muhammad Hijab, he was debating the Buddha. He says, show me, silence me, show me. You know, you look at him, he's so confident, you know, but his, yeah. but his, but his confidence is coming from stupidity, from ignorance, not from knowing. If he knew, he would not say what he said. Yeah, I don't think so. Which, which uh, I think uh, that that he heard himself in that debate, you know, because he told us he said a few things that just basically have to be lies um, if if he's done any type of research or looking at all. 
and I think people are going to remember that. Every single he, every single question it. he answered it by a lie, by by, by stupidity. You know, let us say it this way: not, it's not even can be counted as a lie as much it is stupid. But the Muslims, they like about him that he was a comedian and he is making fun of his opponent, but they did not notice because they are stupid too, that he is being stupid and he's exposing his religion. You know, when 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 David Wood he says to him. Well, if you don't worry, you know, like, okay, we, if, if, if it's impossible for a man to be God, you Muslims, you collect the spit of your prophet and you wipe it over your face. What he said? He said, okay. So are you saying if somebody spit, spit, spit he's, he's, a, he's God? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm God now. <laughs> what, what, what is this? What is the answer yeah, well, for the question? Why you Muslims? He is asking you if Muhammad is just a man. Why you collect his spat and you, you know, you 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 color your your, your face with it, you, you you paint your face with it? This is not about if he is a spit, he's God. You are collecting his spit. You are fighting over it. Right, you know. Right. So, the so the answer, the answer, Muslims they are not, they don't even listen when when a Muslim he defends Islam. Whatever he say, they like it. This is why if you go, you see, this is the thing about Muslims. And this is what I like about them, by the way. One of the things, they support each other. If I am a Muslim, do you know how many subscribers I would be have now? Millions. Yeah, yeah, a lot. But Christians, Christians, how many of them they support what you do? Few. The rest, even if they watch, they don't even subscribe, they don't even share. Muslim, they support you. It doesn't matter how stupid you are. The second you defend Islam, we support you. Doesn't matter yeah. who you are. Even if you are a donkey with big ears saying stupid things, as long as you defend Islam, no problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but like that with the job, yeah, he he acted a clown. You know, he acted a clown. He uh, made some mockery of David. Try, you know, tried to mock David and things like that. You know, and and that'll show him up for the type of debater he is. But I'm thinking more like like the thing with Elijah. You know, you know well. You know, Emmanuel means God with us. It, Elijah means God with us. Okay. So where did that come from? You see, see that he could not have looked that up. You know, that that just had to be a lie. You know, what else could it be? So I think it's one thing when you look childish because he, he's a he's a young guy. You know, so I think a young person can get away with a certain degree of childishness. I think somebody who doesn't know and is unlearned is a man can get away with he's a certain... man. He's what what young guy? I mean, he's you know he's like in his his thirty now. Is he that old? <laughs> well, he is in his thirty. I mean, what, if you are not man in this age, when he would be man then? Is he thirty years old? <laughs> what he is then? I don't know. I think he is in his thirty. <laughs> okay. You know, uh, and uh, the well, the guy he was a teacher in school, and even they kicked him out from his job because he was doing wrong. Supposedly okay. he was teaching violence. You know. So they kick him away. He lost his job, and now oh, he's, he's trying to find the source of income. This is why, after the debate, less than eight hours after the debate, him and his nurse Ali Dawa they made a video asking people, "We want brother yeah. sisters. There's two billion Muslims. There's two. There's one hundred sixty thousand Muslims in Islam, brother. Why? Not because Islam is wrong, brother, but because they have wrong understanding, brother. Brother, support okay. us. Dua are the one who defend Islam, brother. So they want to take the benefit right away." They collected the benefit of this debate because many Muslims they thought that he is the winner. So now what the benefit? Donate for us. So they are asking every Muslim to donate 100 pounds. Yeah. And they want 500 supposedly. But you know, you cannot control the number, right? The second you ask for 100, it's not going to stop with 500. God knows how many, how much, how much money they will collect. But even if it is 500 only, that's mean 50,000 pounds a month. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's a lot. And so. why <laughs> why right away after the debate? Imagine each time, like now, I, I was debating this guy. I say, hey, guys, guys, please, I want 50 pounds of bomb, brother. Then, 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 then we are defending. That. Obviously, it's a business. Yeah, yeah. I want to take advantage because now I prove myself in front of you that I can debate. But the fact it's they did not debate. It was a joke. Yes, but this is the, this is the purpose of this what, what they do it's money it's not about about you know you see he did not answer anything he have no knowledge of anything he was just making a mockery and few hours after the debate he made a video with Ali Dawa asking for 50,000 pound donation yeah. well well <laughs> well now I guess now if if you're going to try to use it as a fundraiser 
it's best to do it immediately after. Yeah, see, the air that had yeah, the time each time I get it. each time I get the Abdul busted, I should ask for uh, fifty thousand pounds. <laughs> well, no. I mean, if 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 you're going to run a scam, okay, if you if you're trying to run a scam, it's best to try to collect the money before you get exposed. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you know, like like I mean. You've been laughing about the video, about the debate ever since the next day. <laughs> like how priceless it is, you know. Always, um, al always, uh, always. If you want to ask, uh, ask yourself a question. If somebody is so confident of his knowledge, why they don't do what I do? Open Skype, people call me. You know what I mean? Yeah, but, Any question? Yeah. Because, because I, 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 I say this much, man. When you I, put in a lot of work, man. Yeah. When, when I open, <laughs> when I open my Skype, can can I pr uh, predict what the question will be? No. A Muslim call me. He can surprise me with things I never maybe heard before. This is a big challenge, right? This is a huge challenge to have the courage to say, I can answer you. Call me. They cannot do that because they don't know what they are talking about. Like this yes. guy, he is a speaker corner. He, he, he labeled himself as a speaker corner. But what speaker corner you are? He know nothing yeah. about Islam. And the rest yes, of them is... But it's it's a to do what you do, man. That's a lot of study, a lot of years. I mean, I, I'm not ready to say that just because a person can't do what you do that, that he's a he's an idiot. I mean, yeah. that, that's just a lot. I mean, to just to say, call me, ask me about everything, you know, and to make up any kind of dumb topic, you know. If, say say, say, to, say to me, say to me, three, say to me three words. And I will give you a story. You know, and, and you know, pick pick a verse, pick a verse from the Quran that you think is is accurate, and we'll see. You know, that's a lot. I mean, that I'm not trying to just blow smoke at you, but that's a lot. That's not free. You know, I, I only know you online, but I know you put in a lot of study for that. You know, yeah. uh, that is a lot of time, a lot of reading, and I can't even I can't even listen. You're broadcasting, okay? I'm on the other end trying to listen and I can't keep up with all the video that you put out. So <laughs> everybody just can't do that. I mean, it, it, <laughs> I, just do can't do that, so. I, I feel guilty when I don't, when, when, and when I don't do, uh, like you see, when I go to Asia, sometimes there is no internet, etc. I really feel guilty. I really, really feel guilty. But uh, you see, I do my best and the Lord is my witness. I I do as much as I can and even yeah. after I do as much as I can mm -hmm. I still feel I did not do what I should do you know uh, yeah. because time go fast and sooner or later this guy his name is a Christian Prince he will die that's a must so yeah. I want to do as much as I can before I die so I will leave for generation to come what is going to be enough for food of education for them so they will not be mistreated by such a stupid cult and this is why we keep saying, please download, guys, download what we have, because this guy is here today, tomorrow is not. I'm giving you a free education, no charge, free school. Take it, save it, publish it, yeah. read it, uh, uh, make a video of it, put it in your YouTube, get more subscribers, even more than me. I'm not a person working for himself. I don't care if you have a more, uh, uh, you know, just let us do something for the sake of human humanity even if you are not a christian even if you are an atheist even if you are a buddha islam is a cult against every human being it is dangerous we are not just debating about if god exists or not we are not debating about if uh, uh, there's a there's god who want to give us vagina in the heaven we are debating about god who believe in killing you and killing me and killing everyone who don't believe in him that is involve your security that's involve your human existence that involve your your future. That's in, in, including your 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 uh, 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 your security of uh, economy. You know, USA and and China and Europe and every country in the world spend trillions of dollars every year just because of Islam. Security for the airports. Yeah. Every year, each time they want to have a festival in Australia, in Canada, in Europe, anywhere, you have to be aware, big time. The first thing, the first concern is when the terrorists were going to attack. Just yesterday, they arrested three Muslim men in Australia, in Melbourne. They want to attack a crowd, and they were trying to buy guns, so they will shoot as many as they can of the crowd. How much money we spend for security just because of this cult?
So if you want to fight, you see, you want to fight this, you, you want to get security, not only by having police and not by only fighting ISIS, you have to, you have to fight what ISIS believe in because ISIS exists because of the belief, not the opposite. Right. What, what, what the world is doing is stupid. They're thinking by fighting ISIS, they will win. You need to fight Islam. And yeah. then you will win. Yeah, um, I wonder why governments do that. You know, I see that all the time that they talk about ISIS and Al Qaeda and all that kind of stuff, you know, without addressing the underlying ideology. You know, you just wonder if they're stupid or if they're just corrupt. Which one is it? You see, I, I went to China. <laughs> no. I went to China. And number one concern for the Chinese for when it comes to security is not the Christians, mm -hmm. even though they, they hate the Christians because Christianity is spreading so fast there. Yeah. But number one concern for the Chinese government is somebody he's a Muslim Because the second you are a Muslim you are involving you, Your existence involves security and violence Christian he would not go and kill Christian is just a guy who want to open a church under the ground Sooner or later we will find about him and we will we will torture him so Chinese government they 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 humiliate Christians they go after them they try to force them to stop uh, uh, spreading Christianity, but they are not worried really about Christians when it's come to violence. But the second you are a Muslim, the story is big deal, big different. Well, I yeah. can imagine so. Yeah. Anyway, well, my friend, I, I uh, we got to finish for today. Uh, you guys, CP. Thank uh, you for taking my call. Thank you for <laughs> calling, and may the Lord bless you all, guys. And I happy just Thanksgiving. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> happy Thanksgiving for you. Uh, I just been informed actually by the brother who is working in the in the German translation for Six and Allah. He said that he finished um, he finished uh, the book. So I hope soon we will have it published too, so we can we can have it uh, ready for for printing. I really I'm really thankful for those who helped me with the translation. Uh, you make a difference, and I feel I am not alone. And I really appreciate those who support us too in the donation because, you know, always somebody have to pay for the bills. Somebody. Um, and if nobody help, then we cannot and we will not be able to do it. So I really appreciate you all. And I appreciate even those, like don't think I am appreciating only those who support us uh, financially. I appreciate those who come here. They are always here. They stand with me. They bring people, they listen, they take, they share. All of you are wonderful people, and you are my family. Thanksgiving is coming. I have no family uh, around, but you uh, you guys are my family, and I am, I am honest about that. I love you all, and I hope the Lord uh, will reward you and will reward us. What is the best, and the best is peace and love. I hope that all of us who will become one body that is the body of Jesus Christ. And we will not be Catholic, we will not be Protestant, we will not be Orthodox. Fight division, my friends. Fight division, trust me. It's very painful to see Christians are divided. I hate it. It's one thing I hate most, that we are not following Christ and being united. Let us be united by Him. The only thing can unite us is the Messiah. No man, no priest, no bishop, no pope, only the Messiah. Don't follow a priest. Don't follow a pope. Don't follow a, and uh, don't follow anyone. Don't follow a Christian prince. We are all sinners and we commit sin. There is only one name under this heaven, above the heaven, under the heaven, over the earth, everywhere. His name is a glory, and he is the Lord of a glory. There is no betrayal. There is no lies. There is no division. There is no hatred. Follow the Messiah. Don't follow a priest. Anyone who teach you division, stay away from him. He don't speak for the Lord. Ask yourself a question before, before you leave today. Do you think it's the Messiah himself? He will be happy to hear that we Christian. We say to ourselves, "You are not a Christian. You are going to go to hell." To hell. No, why? Why, my friend? Why? He believe in Jesus. He believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. He believe in the resurrection of Christ. He believe in the salvation. He believe in the blood of Jesus. He believe in the Bible. He believe that God is one, and he believe in the Trinity. What's your problem? What's your problem? This person have a picture? That is wrong for me, yes. But still, he, that does not make him not a Christian. 
if every one of us do wrong that will not make him a Christian none of us is a Christian then because all of us we do wrong do you claim to be an angel you never do wrong do you claim that you are a person who followed the Bible 100% and you never commit sin if you do so if you claim to be so you're a hypocrite liar so my friend let us be united by him and stop being foolish the vision is a foolishness be united with your brother and sister in Christ. Their church name is not important. What, they, what important is, do they believe in Jesus? I don't accept Jehovah's Witnesses because they are false. They believe in Jesus as an angel or they believe in God. That is not Christianity, that's far. But somebody believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Somebody believe that Jesus died in the cross and he is coming back and he is the only salvation. Somebody believe that God is eternal and he present himself in a person of a man his name is the Christ somebody believe that not everyone says to me Lord Lord will enter the kingdom of my father will be in my father kingdom but the one who do his will that is a Christian person my friend many people they will say God God but the Lord will say to them depart from me I do not know you they will say we made miracle in your name he will say to them you did it for your own glory not for me Many people worship God by their tongues, but they do, do, do nothing for him. Ask yourself, please, how much you do for the Lord. Those people who help me with the translation, your reward is not from me. Your reward is from your maker because you help many by your translation to see the truth. We always require to give a fruit. The Messiah said, the, one who don't, the tree who don't give a fruit will cut off and will be thrown in hellfire. Don't be that tree. Please don't be that tree. Time go fast. Time go extremely fast. When I hear somebody saying, I was listening to Christian Prince for 18 years. Imagine 18 years. You believe it? 18 years. Time is extremely fast. When he said to me, when this guy, he called me, and I was listening, this guy is saying to me for when 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 did that happen? You know, 18 years. How time goes so fast, it's like yesterday, and time will come and your soul will be taken from you. Remember what the Bible speaks about those when the Lord he gave them investment to invest, and there's a person who double it five times, and there's a person who make it twice or three times, and there's a person who hide it. Don't be the one who hide it. You will be questioned why you are coming alone why you did not why you spent 70 years living in this earth but you did not bring one person to Christ what you were doing you were eating drinking sleeping dancing going party working making money bring someone to Christ my friend bring someone to Christ how you can do it this is your business I do my part do you do your part thank you for being here may the lord bless you all christ is lord and islam is false and i will see you soon again thank you and god bless take care bye bye